What is up, everyone? I don't know if you can see right now the feet right here. <laughs> a cat has come <laughs> right when I started the stream, which is why the loading screen took so damn long. So sorry. Hello, everyone. I'll be looking here and over here, because this is where the chat is right here. And the cat is here. So I'm sorry if I'm looking everywhere. Not good at this. What's up? I'm petting a kitty. Chicken wings! Oh my god! Alright, so things that- Oh my god. Oh! The cat is all over the keyboard! Bubby! <laughs> the stream is for you and you're ruining it already. Chicken wings! Hello. How is everybody doing? I'm stressed. <laughs> That's why I wanted to have a hangout with you today. We have a cup. It's right- Oh my god, I can't see- There it is. You can kind of see the text. I haven't figured it out completely Chicken yet. Chicken wings! But when you sub or donate or do anything, stuff drops into that cup and then it all flies out. It's crazy. I don't know. The kids are doing it and so I did it too. Let me know. We can make the cup bigger if we need to. I don't Chicken know. Chicken wings! Oh my god, so many people are subbing. Thank you. Hello, Wing Dark. How are you? Why am I stressed? I'm about to get to that. Also, I've been running appointments all day today. And when I got home, I, wings. <laughs> the immediate thing I need to do when I get home at all times is take my pants off. So I did that. And I was like, man, time to get comfortable. And then I totally forgot that I had to set up the stream. And I just realized as the stream was loading, I don't have a bra on either. Is insane for yes. So whatever. I'm doing this with no pants and no bra, I'm good. As long as I don't get up. Fine. Whatever. Don't care. I don't give a crap. Chicken wings. <laughs> I don't give a crap today, you guys. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Whoa, look at that. Rykul says, And he says his puppy's on the keyboard. It doesn't matter, guys. Can't see nothing. I got hair in Chicken the way. Chicken wings. It's fine. Hello, everyone. Hopefully you can hear the music. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh. I've had a hard week. What the fuck was that? I've had a hard two weeks actually, and I heard that a lot of people also were having a hard week, so I wanted to like make a space where we could just come hang out and rant about crap. Like here, it's all we're all friends here. Come on down. Cat's here. It's laying on the keyboard. Chicken wings. So I can't type anything. <laughs> He's dictating how this is going. Oh my god. So let me quickly read some of these things that we've got and that's over here So I'm gonna be looking like this way for a minute as well. I'm sorry about that if that bugs anybody Ding All right, let me I got news I got loads of news for you guys about stream and life and all that and then loads of other stuff And we're also gonna open stuff today, too. I don't know Chicken wings. Have I seen the origins of Proton John? No, I wasn't there when he was born know him back then. There's Smef, by the way, we've got two new emotes for right now and more are coming. We've got Smef, Smefany, which is Lucas Smef. And then we've got my Chicken face wings. doing like that kind of thing. That's Luca face. Go ahead and throw those everywhere. Do it. Do it. There they are. Beautiful. I run a <laughs> I run a on, very now. pro operation. Thank you, tits. That gif is wrong because I changed it. So I'm not sure why that happened. So I guess we're gonna have to go with that for a while. It was supposed to be a different gif. That's fine. My face when I realized I have no Chicken pants or bra. Wings. True. I don't give a crap. It's fine with me. All right, hang on here. Oh my God, we got a lot to read. You guys, what are you doing? I think a lot of people are donating and giving bits because of reasons, and I just want to preface before I say anything by saying you guys don't have to do that at all. If you want to, I'm very humbled by that, but you don't have to. Okay, it's totally up to you. Only do that if you really want to. Okay. We got a cup. Peridot's guarding it. You can make things fly out of the cup, like bits and bots and tacos. I think you can put chicken wings in there. I think you can put Emil's face in there too. I don't remember what does that, but something does. And chicken then wings. Emil's face gets thrown in there as well. But what's the difference? I don't know. Oh, there goes all the stuff. Did you see it? It's flying all over the place. I don't know. 
People like that for some reason. So 21 hours ago and 13 hours ago, people donated, I think because they saw me ranting a little bit on Twitter, and you guys might have seen that as well. So to Rexus Fern and Melmo17, if you're listening, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I look so young. I look like ass today. Like, I have not gotten sleep in the last five days. But thank you for saying that. It's also hot as balls in here. If I have the window open in the back, you'll hear all the traffic noise. So I don't have it open right now. Uh, so if I get the, like, looking sweaty later, that's probably what happened. All right. So, AS1 Sarah has subscribed. Thank you so much, Wolf Samurai. Eight months in a row. Thank you, darling. Dark the Dark Charmer, 14 months in a row. Alfin, thank you for subscribing, darling. Shiny Nebby Char, four months in a row. Chicken thank you. Wigs. Sebastian, seven months in a row. Howling Wolf KD donates and says, I'm playing through all of Kingdom Hearts series and I'm currently on KH2FM. Decided to skip COM since I found it too hard to get into. And watch the three 56 days cutscenes. I'm really loving Kingdom Hearts. Chicken Wigs! And I wish that Max would appear. I don't think he does, but I don't know. I haven't played all of them. I haven't played Birth by Sleep. I still need to do that. Oh my gosh. Brown Wolf, four months in a row. M3 Kekin, uh, Mekin? Meekin. Meekins? Chicken wings! Wait, from Phoenix, right? Two months in a row. Flying Fishy, 58, 16 months in a row. Pancake Puck, three months in a row, thank you. Will Win, five months in a row, thank you, darling. Brittany Westfall with the bits. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, cool. Thank you for eight months in a row. Nipa Shadow, three months in a row. Ducks Raster, why? Did you do that? Have we even gotten to Ducks Raster's thing yet? I think Streamlabs is a little bit behind again. Because I didn't hear it come up. Did I miss it? It says it was five minutes ago. Hang on. Are we broke? We might be broke, but Ducks Raster, holy crap, you did not have to do that. Ducks Raster says, for bagel and happy catty mom's day to you. I have fur babies of my own, so I know what it's like. Treat yourself to some more sushi. Oh, thank you. I didn't have to do that. Where's this music from? This is jazz music of Studio Ghibli songs. You know, from like the movies? It's jazz covers. Well, we'll talk about Bagel in a minute, you guys. Don't worry, I'll talk to you about that. I know some of you really want to know. AS1 Sarah, 34 months in a row. Y2K890 donates and says, got some money for my birthday, so I had to give you some. Plus, you know, Bagel needs some money. You guys, don't give me your birthday money. You're not gonna make me cry on camera today, are you? Please don't do that. Oh man, thank you so much. Meds, 98194, 26 months in a row. Aura, Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Morgan. Pfft. Botch that big time. Nine months in a row, thank you so much, darling. Akiba Love, 500 bits, throw those bits in the cup. What's my favorite sushi roll? I don't know, cause everybody's like making all these fusion rolls now, it's crazy. I like Unagi, Unagi's really good. There's Emil's face. Someone just donated an Emil's face. Show. Well, that's really small, isn't it? Let me see if I can make that actually a little bit bigger. Hang on. Oh, that means we have to move Peridot as well. You come over here. You sit right there with your boot. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna help anything. The resolution on this thing is like super weird. Where were we? Gadzooks, nine months in a row. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he likes the Luca face, thank you. Season 13 2, five, 15 months in a row, I almost said 5, my, my B. My B. I don't know where to look, I have too many places to look. Pyroshi, 5 months in a row. Dr. Sidewinder, 25 months in a row, thank you. Ari Lu, 16 months in a row, and $5, just donated $5 and said motherfucking $5. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Is that Tim's Emil emote? Can I just tell you how funny that is? That people, like, ever, like, me, John, and Tim now each have an Emil emote. Chicken wings. I'm just waiting for Massey to get one at this point. It's hilarious to me. Hawks fan, thank you so much. Three months in a row. Thank you. Wait, it says three months, but Streamlabs said four months, and the cup said four months. That's strange, isn't it? That is Tim. We've got so many Emils. By the time Emil gets his own stream and his e own emotes, whenever that happens, he's gonna have like no faces to use. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good. Chicken wings! Trail pudding! Hello, darling. Thank you for four months in a row. 
Look at all those bits and butts and oh my god, Emil's face is in there with the butts. I didn't really think about that before. <laughs> it's too legs. late now. A true love story, Emil and Smef? Would that work out? Oh no, it's Chrissy. He has the bits. Thank you so much, darling. Anubis Abudis. Nine months in a row. Thank you. I gotta show you this cat. This I don't he might move when I do this though, because he's half asleep. Let me see if I can hang on. Chicken wings! Please don't look at the fact that I have no pants on right now. Look at him. Poor buddy. Alright, I'll let you look at him for a minute. Let me see if I oh, that's probably gonna oh. I don't have the best setup for this. And he's waking up. Hi, buddy. Hi. Go back to sleep. It's okay. There he is. So, a lot of you heard that he's been ill Chicken lately. Chicken wigs! <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, jeez. I have to hold this to make this happen. It's fine. Um, so, we've suspected that his teeth have been kind of bad for a while, but we've been monitoring them. And, uh... Like, last week, he stopped eating, so we were really concerned. So the vet had referred us to a specialty dentist, like a veterinary dentist, like, that you can only get there by referral, that kind of thing, like a dental surgery place. So they saw him yesterday, and he was super stressed out about the whole thing. He did not like going. He doesn't like being in the carrier. He doesn't like loud places. Um, and they looked at his teeth, and she said it's pretty bad. The back ones especially are really bad. Um, the I guess the gums are overgrowing the molars a little bit, like they're infected. So they don't know if there's like something under the gums that may have gotten lodged in there maybe when he was astray. Because the, the rescue foundation where we got him from, they didn't really check his teeth because he, they were too busy fussing with his eye to get that fixed up right. So, they need to go in there and he needs to go under anesthesia and they need to really get in there and like look around and see what's happening. They need to take x-rays because you could have a broken tooth in there that maybe got impacted or something. Here, I'll put you back on me so you can see me while I talk. But, um, so yeah, and they're, and because the gums are starting to like overgrow in the back, um, they're probably going to have to go in there and like surgically remove some of it. Make sure it's all clean, like get under there, get all the bacteria out, and then make sure it's all clean. Um, so it's going to be quite an ordeal for him. He's going to be under probably all day when they do the surgery. And uh, then I'll pick him up at the end of the day and he can come home. We're hoping that this will make him eat better because he's having an issue right now where I think he doesn't want things to touch his back teeth. So he's kind of meh about his dry food, which he usually loves, and he's meh about his wet food now too, and I worry, I know he looks fat because he's laying down right now, but I worry that he's not eating enough. So I've been having to hand feed him, like, wet food out of my hands, like I make little, little shapes, ball shapes out of him, and he can eat those and get them down in his mouth. So it's been a little bit difficult. We have savings for a bagel, so I don't want you guys to think that we're irresponsible pet owners. <laughs> My, the reason I was freaking out yesterday is because literally, like, everything money-wise has happened in the last three weeks. Like, I've, I have to pay taxes to Canada and the U.S. this year because this is the year that I got my residency, so I'm technically still considered a resident of both countries. So I've had to pay five-digit numbers to taxes. So that was the first thing, and I had that saved up. The second thing was my, our water heater broke here in the house four days ago, so we had to get that fixed just now. My permanent residency came through, which is awesome, and I'm so excited, um, but that wasn't actually supposed to go through until November. So we got it early, which I can't complain about, right? I'm so, so happy that we did. But because we got it early, we had to pay the lawyer's fee early, so we had to pay a couple thousand dollars to the lawyer last week. Okay, and we were planning to spend that in November. Do you guys see what I mean? So like. Everything has happened at once. So all of my savings are gone. So his surgery is going to cost like $1,500. So that's why I was complaining. And like I said, I wanted to say that I'm not asking you guys for money. I'm just explaining to you why I'm stressed. Now I have the money. It's just going to deplete my emergency savings to zero. And I hate that feeling because I worked so hard to like save all that money. So I would be in a good place where I wouldn't have to worry about money anymore. So, it happens. 
I'm not asking you guys to donate. You don't have to do that. If you're here with me watching the stream, thank you very much. If you're like throwing out a retweet for the stream or giving me a follow, that's free and I thank you so much for doing that. I don't want money. I'm actually here to open Japan crates today. So I'm not here for money. I'm here to hang out with you guys. Chicken and I heard legs. that a lot of people were also going through some crap. So I wanted to have the stream so people can talk to me about what's bothering them. We'll talk about all kinds of stuff. I know this is supposed to be serious, but to me in the background it looks like Bowser is asserting his dominance over Robotnik. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, over there. It's reversed. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing over there. Can I see that cat? Well, there's his feet. You wanna see him? He's gotta move in a minute because we gotta do Japan crates. Hey buddy, you're in the way. Chicken wings! Yeah, he had a hard day yesterday. Poor bubs. You can't unsee that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mothra Man, 20 months in a row. Thank you so much. Minerva Mega, 14 months in a row. Pirate Tagami, 100 bits. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Patty Vin, 34 months in a row. Thank you. And Rizo Devil, 25 months in a row. Thank you. Your cat's meowing. Hello, kitty. I'm sorry you had a shitty week, Mothra. I know how it feels. Look, like you said, guys, I've got the money. I save up like a madman for things like this. It just sucks that I have to spend all this at once, right? What a pain in my ass. Bagel does want his mommy. How are we gonna open candy on top? Can we, should we just open it on top of him? All right, maybe we'll just do that. <laughs> Amazingly awful, thank you so much for subbing. I think so, it's Andrew. I think that was part of it. Chicken wings! Cats that have teeth problems often want to chew real bad. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Yeah, money is a, is a fleeting thing, isn't it? If I'm, I'm just glad. Yes. I'm glad that we had, like, the money saved up that we could do this in the first place. Can you imagine if people didn't have money and their pets got sick? Like, I don't know what I would do. Put what him in your lap? No, he won't stay there. Hello! Poeco, how are you? Bagel bits. <laughs> the bits for bagel. Bagel, everybody loves you. Look at this dude. This is how I get work done nowadays. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone's going Check through finals too. It's like such a hard week for everybody. Good luck to everybody going through finals. You can do it. Do I stream often? I try to stream at least once a week right now, but I'm trying to do more of that. And right now I'm doing YouTube about three times a week until I get the new LP started, which I really need to do. But yeah. Gel89, thank you for subbing, darling. I feel like some of our notifications are a bit late. Since I've beaten P5, what was my favorite persona to use? Um, geez, who did I really like? Michael was really good. I had We had a Michael in the end, and um, what else did we have? <laughs> I like Bugs, even though Bugs isn't that great. I don't know what the new LP is going to be, you guys. I don't, I, I've had trouble because John and I were going to do like a Smephany style project before he left for Momocon, and we couldn't find any games that we liked. So that's been put on the back burner. And then I was thinking to myself, what do I want to play that I would have fun with? And uh, I'm having a trouble coming up with something. I mean, if you guys have... Hi, buddy. Hello. Aww. If you guys have things that you want to see, let me know. Bagel bath. <laughs> oh, Belle, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. That's really sweet. Fox fan says, I guess an obligatory welcome to Canada eh, is in order. Thank you so much. Crazy Sunshine with the Chicken bits. Thank wings. you. The slow bro had bits before. Thank you so much. Bell Lover donates and says, I know you say you don't need money, but I really want to donate just a little bit. I believe every little bit helps and that things will work out the way they should. Thank you, darling. Bagel thanks you too. I will say that whatever money I do get in the next few days are probably going to go to his surgery. So if you don't feel okay with donating for that reason, then, then don't and that's okay. Hi, honey. Hello, darling. Look at this, look at this love face. What is the new LP? I don't know, give me ideas. <laughs> Okami might be a little bit too long for second slot. Remember second slot only goes Tuesday and Thursday. So it probably should be something a little bit less 
I would consider Okami to be like, oh my god, why, you guys? Who did that? XTC Refugee, why? No! <laughs> no! That's not five dollars, that's way too much. Oh my gosh, are you sure? XTC Refugee says, get well soon, Bagel. I actually had some good news about my Check hernia surgery away. cost today, so I'm happy to help. No, girl, you better be careful. I want to make sure you're okay with your surgery. Glad to hear you got good news, though. I hope you're okay. Serious Lion, thank you for 15 months in a row. And Super Mike Man, 38 months in a row. Ace Attorney 2, the second one, is going to be the next LP after Bowser. I already announced it. I'm kind of hoping that... Guys, can you tell me how far I am in Bowser's Inside Story right now? Am I like... Uh, I'm more than halfway done, right? I have to be. I wonder how much longer that's going to go on for. Well, I didn't have a video today because of yesterday's vet shenanigans, so I'm sorry about that, but... Because once, ba once Bowser is done, Ace Attorney is coming back. Is I am fairly close to the end, actually. Oh. Because I only have one more star here to get, but I think it's going to, like, start me with all the side quests and stuff that I need to start doing now. What the fuck was that? So I don't know how long it's going to take. I am pretty close. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, Ace Attorney 2 will start right after Bowser is over. And that will be the main LP on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Per usual. I hope that makes you guys happy. I can't wait to start another... Ace Attorney, I really want to play. I've almost wanted to start it early so many times. Alfin has 100 bits. Thank you so much, darling. My cat went through something similar to Bagel. It was a while ago, so I can't remember specifics, but one vet that we had said she had an infected tooth. So if I were you, I'd get a second opinion before forking over. Oh, no, don't worry. Like, she's been looked. he's been looked at by the vet first, and they were going to try to do a cleaning, but then they looked in his mouth the other day, and they're like, no, he needs to go to a specialist. And the specialist that we're going to is the best in the county. Really, like, you can't get in there without an emergency referral. So she's really, really knowledgeable and good. So I think he's going to be in good hands. No amount of money is too much for him. I'll make it happen. Yeah, my bracelet does say I heart balls. <laughs> I just realized I was wearing it. Uh, oh, I'm an adult. Oh, thank you, Rain. I'm glad you like the faffing. I mean, I'm not gonna do all mini games. I'm not gonna do all that. Like, I'll keep that crap maybe for a stream or something, but I would like to do some most of the side quests if possible. Bagel is so cute. Paige is dying. Paige loves Bagel. I think Paige is Bagel's biggest fan. Thank you, Paige. Bagel loves you too. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he's... When the fuck was that? This is how you know he's not really feeling the best because he's not destroying everything. But he's okay. He's twitching his tail. Aw, oh, Mary, that's so kind. You didn't have to do that. Oh, Bagel thanks you. Get well soon, Bagel, because two gingers are better than one on this channel. Aw. Oh, and Bowser donated and said, Luca, can you help arrange a wedding for me and Eggman? The chat is watching after all. Yes, I will do that. Hi, Tasman, how are you? Come on down where you can see oh your God. old penis in the door of your luxury sedan. We will make that happen for you. Oh my God. Thank you, Tasman. Jake Monroe is more than happy to slam his penis in the car door of a luxury sedan. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jake. You didn't have to do that. Good God. Like I said, if you do want to donate and you do not have to, please. You don't have to. We have the money. It's, it's all going to go to Bagel. It won't go to any games or any streams this time around. So if you're not okay with that, then do not donate. I'm just being very transparent with you about what it's going to go to. We're hoping that when he gets the surgery to clean and trim his gums, that once the pain subsides, we can get in there with like, you know, brushing his teeth every day and giving him some like cat origel to heal. And then after that, hopefully he won't need anything else. That's going to be the best prognosis we can hope for at this, at this point. Remember, he grew up as a stray, so he's had a lot of issues and God knows what he was eating out on the streets. So for all they know, he could have like a piece of metal or maybe something worse stuck under that tooth or something and it's just never gotten fixed. So we're gonna, we're gonna get him looked at and get him sorted. And I think he'll be okay then. I really hope so. This guy deserves a normal life. He's gone through so much. Look how fat he looks. He's really not this fat, you guys, I swear. <laughs> He's just all flopped out. Yeah, I gotta brush his teeth probably after this. A Sonic game, that's an idea. I wonder what Sonic game I should play. 
I really only like the old ones. I've never played any of the new ones. I don't think I've played anything past Adventure Battle 2. Bagel is big. He's 12 pounds. He was weighed yesterday. He's a big boy. Hi, love bug. Aww. Hi, lovey. Schmear, you didn't have to do that. Some schmear for the bagel. Aw, give bagel a little cream cheese schmear. Look at this cat upside down. Oh, this is gonna be an all cat stream now. Bagel, are we gonna open candy today? That was what I was supposed to do. And now you're in the way. He's very happy right now. I can't bring Chicken myself to wings. move him. Oh, good lord. He's very spoiled. John and I love him so much. He's cost more than any shelter animal I've ever had. Well, except for my one of my horses, but he's worth it. We're, we'd never give up on him now. We're way too attached to him. And nobody wanted this guy at the shelter, and if I gave him back now, nobody would take him. He's only got one eye. He's got these teeth issues. He has IBS, which we've kept managed because I did, like, tons of research. Nope, he stays with us. He's permanently here. <laughs> Chicken wings! Oh, you guys, thank you so much for subbing with Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. A Kirby game. That's what I should do, because those aren't really long, are they? I've never played a single Kirby game, you guys. What would be a good one to start with? Like, I don't even know. Red Cinder, 24 months in a row. Thank you. The game's still 64, 37 months in a row. Thank you so much. You would adopt the pastry. Oh, that's very sweet. He does have IBS, so the first thing I did is when I found that out is I just went online and researched everything I could about cat IBS. And from what I found from most people, they were saying that 90% of cats with IBS do the best on wet food first, and then you can supplement with the right kind of dry. So we tried that, and even though he doesn't really... He'll eat the wet food, he's not gusto over it. That has helped a ton. Wet food that doesn't have any corn or wheat or carrageenan in it. Basically, you know, like one of the, the nice kinds of food that just have meat and like product meat products and there's a whole bunch of Kirby games that people are going past here. Superstar Ultra? Hmm. Someone said that uh what's the one that everyone's played? There's one that like everyone has played. Not Epic Yarn, because that's one of the newer ones, right? Maybe it was Kirby's Adventure. What's the SNES one? Is there an SNES one? What is left? Oh my god, no way. Baby, don't hurt me! No. Don't hurt me! No, you can't do this. No more! No, hi, Ultima. What is left? How <sighs> Baby, don't hurt me! No. <laughs> don't hurt me! No more! That's not $10. Hi, Ultima, are you sure? I can send it back to you if you're not sure. I don't mind. I... Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Are you absolutely sure about this? Like, please don't donate to me, guys, if you're not sure. I'll send it back if you're not sure. It's okay. Just don't take it back from PayPal, because then that freezes my account, for goodness sake. Are you really sure? Everyone... Th <laughs> High Ultima is very, way too generous with his money. Holy crap. A hundred dollars. Lord knows how tough life is for Bagel. I know I did so much for my cat and his tail surgery. This is the least I can do for him. Get well, little guy. Oh my gosh. Thank you. He really appreciates it, even though he's asleep right now. <laughs> wow, you really don't have to. What is bagel? <laughs> Chicken wings! Stan hates you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for that. Bagel really appreciates it, you guys. And if you guys like Bagel and you like to see pictures of him, he has his own Instagram. It's called Bagel the Kitty. I also post Chicken pictures of him legs. on Snapchat and videos of him doing silly shit all the time if you want. But Snapchat is really weird because I also post pictures of my ugly face, so you have to make that decision. <laughs> so it's up to you. But if you want just Bagel, he has an Instagram. What is Bagel but a fluffy pile of kitten? Oh my god, Ari, Lou, that's so kind. Thank you. I can't say no to a kitty in need, especially when it's beautiful as Bagel. Take care of yourselves. Oh, thanks. You guys are so good. Let's open some stuff. So that's what you guys came here for. Let's do that. And, and talk to me about your lives, guys. I want to know what's going on in your lives. Oh my god, the forehead rant. That was an epic Snapchat moment. <laughs> what happened to Bagel's other eye? Uh, when the Rescue Foundation found him, he was a stray with a band of stray cats, and he was only f four months old. And they saw him 
on the street and he was super gross and skinny and dirty and his eye was like half hanging out like bugged out and all cloudy so they obviously rescued him and they tried to save the eye but they couldn't he had a huge tumor growing in the back of it and a big blood clot and the eye was just destroyed they don't know how it happened because they found him like that so they had to remove it he's much better without it we're ranting about butts Chicken wings. all kinds of butts Mr. or Mayor, I saw it said Mr. Mayor Lumina. Thank you for subbing. I want to say that you've subbed before. I almost think you have. Tui Masters donates and says, Hi Luca, I had my birthday lately, but I think you could use some of the money more than me. Lately I've been feeling just really down on myself and I don't even know why. Some blind LPs I'd recommend for you are Sonic Generations, Kirby's Adventure, and maybe Overwatch. Thank you. One dollar donates and says, Holla holla, get a dollar. Thank you so much. Zodiac Star Sign, I don't know if I got you. I hope I did. Thank you so much for two months in a row. And James E.P. Thank you so much for donating. I want to help. I know you said not to, but I really wanted to. My family and I had difficulty with finances with the passing of my grandfather. So we had emotional and financial struggles. I just wanted to help you. God, please don't give me money if you're in a bad place. Good Lord, no. I'll send it back to you if you want. I don't ever want anyone to send me money if they don't have it. Holy crap, I would be so sad if I felt you were doing that. If I, fa if I found out, I would be very sad. So don't do that, please. Bagel will be okay. Oh, and on the day of the surgery, I'll let you guys know how he's doing. He's gonna go for surgery May 30th. That's when he's penciled in for. We're gonna take him there early in the morning and drop him off. And he'll be there all day. Hi, Thunder. This isn't a normal stream. I'm actually supposed to be doing a Japan Crate unboxing, but the cat got in the way. So we're just talking for a minute while the cat sleeps. <laughs> and then I'm gonna open some things. Oh, no, I do have to- I do have to update his bio. Thank you, Sandy. He's so fat. He's not. It's just the angle. <laughs> I swear. He's a loaf. May 30th is your birthday, William. Happy birthday. Pokemon Sun and Moon. I don't know. I just finished it on my own, and I really liked it. Just pet bagel for the whole stream? Guys, that's gonna be the most boring stream ever. <laughs> Can't do that. Oh, Sebastian. Thank you so much. Oh, there goes Emil's heads. Oh, Emil's heads busted the chicken wings everywhere. <laughs> That's pretty funny, isn't it? Why didn't I get a cup before? I have watched the new Steven Universe episodes. Don't spoil it because a lot of people haven't seen them yet, but holy crap. That's all I gotta say about that. So Best Jen says, I think we love Bagel as much as you do, so here's a little contribution to the cause. It's all I can afford, but I'm sure it's gonna help. Have some hugs to you need them. Thank you. You guys, I don't ever want you to be responsible for my cat. Like I said, we have the money. So the money you're putting towards now is just to make sure I have a couple hundred dollars in my savings account in case anything else goes wrong, which, good God, I hope not. At least not till next month, please. Bagel stream. It's the bagel stream. Oh, you're welcome, Sandy. Happy birthday again. All right, do you guys think we can do this unboxing without him waking up? Um, you might have to look at him instead of me, which is probably actually better for everybody involved. So let's do that. If you guys remember, last month we got very generously donated Japan crates from Dark Fire Yoshi. It's okay, puppy. So we have this. This has uh, Japanese snacks and sweets in it. And we opened this last month. And then we have the ramen crate right here also. Check so these waves. are the new ones that I got. So let's open these. I had to open them just to make sure nothing was damaged, but I didn't look in it really that hard. <laughs> it's not gonna be the cat, true. I'm gonna try to do this with him here and see what happens. Snacks! It's snack time! Luca, please show that. That's right there. You don't need to see it. Well, normally you would see my face here, but since the cat's here, he's probably a lot more interesting. <laughs> it's his stream today. What kept me sane during college days? Stressed out over getting in and getting scholarships? Oh, God. I hate to give you this answer because it sucks. It was so long ago, but if I really had to think... I mean... College is stressful, there's no doubt, but it's also going to be like probably one of the coolest times of your life, right? Because you're starting to be like on your own and make your own decisions and like let stuff happen. Just take it day by day, you know, and listen to what you want to do, like in your heart, do that. I, I think it'll be okay for you. You can do it. Good luck. What were some of the foods we had last time that were really weird? Oh, that banana thing. That was gross. And then we also had, oh, that chunky melon soda. Do you guys remember that? Awful. <laughs> but everything else in it was pretty good. I do miss college a little bit too. Chicken wings! I really do. If I get another banana thing, I swear to God. 
thing. The foot lollipop. We gave that to John. He liked it. He liked the foot candy. <laughs> oh my god. You don't have the confidence to believe in yourself. What is this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, don't hurt me! Uh, don't hurt me! Oh my god. No more! What is left? Why? Baby, don't hurt me! No. Don't hurt me! Oh, no Miss more. Random LP, are you freaking sure? Are you. <gasps> you guys, no! This, this is way over what I even thought. No, this. Oh my god. Guys. Oh, you too, Miss Random LP and and Joanna Zoe, Joanna Zoe. I hope I said that correctly. Miss Random LP says, "I love animals, and seeing Bagel go through this makes me very sad. I hope this helps that he can live a very happy life with his mom and dad. Love you. You're the best. I hope you're sure. Thank you so much." Joanna Zoe says, Hi Luca, I would do anything for my kitties, so I hope this helps some. I'm going through a rough time. My boyfriend and I have four years broke up. Your streams and tweets and bagel make me so happy, so allow me to do a little something for you. Ah, oh, no, you're going through stuff too. You don't have to send me any money, girl. I'm sorry to hear about that. All I can offer you is, is take it day by day and realize that you are a beautiful, special person. And it's okay to, to cry and, and to take time for yourself and... Wait for the sun to come out. It always does. It will, I promise. Bagel is the m Oh, look at his tail. I think he's dreaming. Oh, well, he's about to wake up because we're gonna do cat stuff. Cat stuff? No, we're gonna do candy stuff. What is John up to? I don't know. He was supposed to be watching the cat, but as you see, that didn't work out too good in his favor. All right, let me see if I can open this without... This is gonna be the most silent ASMR candy thing we've ever done. Oh, except for that. Except for the screaming. Good lord. William Cat just killed Amethyst and says, just cuz. Girl, thank you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so if you've never seen one of these before, it comes usually with like a little manual that tells you what's in there in case you're not sure. And it has like little tidbits and information about Japanese sweets and, and other things that might be going on in Japan at the time, like festivals and stuff. So here, here's all the things we have to look at. And I'll go through them if I don't know what they are, because... Oh, am I going to get away with this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. This could work. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Don't wake him up. Hi, Sanasu, how are you? Thank you for the 37 months in a row. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. No, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is absolutely good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Good lord. Aw, oh, Jake. Thank you for the bits, darling. Oh my god, look at all those bits in the cup. Look at all those fish. There they are. I think they're fish. Are they fish? What is that? I don't know. There's something weird. All right, well, when he hears, like, the crinkling, he's definitely gonna wake up. Let me see if I can show you how this box looks when you get it. Okay, Bagel, stay asleep, buddy. This, uh oh Uh-oh. This is how it looks. It's nice, huh? They package it nice, too, and everything. Okay. I can't believe he's still asleep. I can't- this might work. If we're careful. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's start with something. Oh God, I think I started with something bad, you guys. <laughs> All right, so this is supposed to be snacks and it has, uh, oh, you're over here, I have to show you. It has a little fox, a little kitsune fox, and it looks like ramen and it feels like, like dried chow mein noodles or something. Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> our, whole operation, our whole operation is going bye-bye. It's okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's a ramen flavor snack. <laughs> this is okay, I think. We're alright. It's really warm in here. I might have to open the window at some point. And you guys are gonna hear stuff, unfortunately. Um, this is called Don. I mean, this says Don. That's what I can read. But it's called Don Taro. So this is ramen snack, but oh, actually no, it's not. It's an udon snack, kitsune udon. So there's the fox for kitsune right there. So it has 
a soy sauce and dashi soup flavor. So what I did last month is I opened these. So it's a it's a udon flavored snack. So it's it's a salty flavored snack. I'll show you what they look like and I'll try some and let you know. Oh god, he's gonna wake up and he's gonna want to eat all this stuff probably. He's touching you. He is. He always has to be. All right. Let's. Uh, oh yeah. Look. It's like little noodles, like the like those dry chow mein noodles that you get sometimes at um at like Chinese restaurants and stuff. But I think this is probably gonna be better. All right. Let's see. Put that there. I will try some. You guys wanted me to crunch last time. I'll try to do that now. Oh my God. The flavor is actually really strong, but not bad. I'm just used to these having no flavor when you get them at the Chinese restaurant. Oh man. Do you want the camera back up in my face while I eat these? What would you rather have? Cause you can only either have my face or the cat, it's up to you. This is pretty good actually. It's not bad. I Probably I look like I'm sweating cause it's really, really hot in here. Face? All right, hang on a minute. Uh. Wait, okay, okay, you can still see his feet. That kind of counts, right? A little bit? Maybe? Maybe not. Wow, I look like ass. I'm a mess today. I'm running around everywhere doing errands. This heat isn't doing anything for my hair, I'll tell you that much. Alright, here we go. So yeah, they're good. I can see why the package is so small. Because the flavor is really strong so you wouldn't want to eat like you wouldn't eat these like chips like you wouldn't eat a whole bag of these like chips oh my god look at that shit flying everywhere <laughs> that's hilarious wait i have a napkin i came prepared so we don't get crumbs all over the cat oh that'd be hilarious oh yeah the bed it's a mess because the cat was playing on it earlier i'm sorry usually it's made but right now it's not all right, so what do we got next? Let's see, uh, I'll pull this one out because it's on the top, but I actually know this one because I've had this in Japan before. This is a very popular snack. So it looks like this. Hello, uh oh, he's waking up. Hi, honey. Hello, it's, you wanna smell it? What's that? Okay, go back to bed now, it's okay. Go back to bed. Have you guys seen this before? If you've eaten Japanese snacks, you probably have. Very, very popular. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh. He doesn't want the paper on him anymore. He's speaking out. Caramel corn. Oh my god, so much corn. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys? Not only do we have the new Smeff emote and my face, we've got more new emotes coming, and one of them is a big-ass buttered ear of corn. Because we can't, for some reason, stop talking about corn in this damn chat. So that's happening. We're also going to get a buddy emote for PRAM. I can't wait to show it to you. I'm so excited. Alright. So. Do they even talk about this one in here? I don't see it. Uh. Let's see. I've had this caramel corn before quite a few times. But I don't remember anything about it other than it tastes like literal caramel corn. Alright, there's not in here actually. That's fine. So this is Tohato. Caramel corn, and it's just like you think it is. It looks like Cheetos, but it's not. It's, I don't even know if I want to open this one actually because I'm not going to eat all this right now, but Your well. Is insane for yeah. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Uh oh, what did Otto do? <laughs> oh my god. Sinasu, 37 months. Jake Monroe, 20 bits. Lord of the Melons donated and said, if you're looking for a secondary slot for LPs, I've always wanted to see you play Bayonetta or Bayonetta 2. I think they would cater to your humor with all the innuendos. Oh god, I would turn that into god knows what, wouldn't I? Akihaba Love is 100 bits. Fight the power, bagel. I think this is the one that has peanuts in it. Let me go digging because they're probably all at the bottom. The cat is very interested in what I'm doing. My corn. Wait, no, this is not the one with the peanuts. Okay, it's not. There is one with them. Hi. Well, he's really interested now. He wants to see what this is all about. So this is what they look like. They look a little bit like Cheetos, but they're not Cheetos. They're just corn snacks. They're like Cheetos without the Cheeto dust. Instead, they have caramel on them. Uh-oh. Oh, huh. 
Hi, you okay? Buddy? Okay. He's up. He's sniffing things. Oh, God. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to go out of here. <laughs> hi. 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 Okay. Perfect. Oh. Maybe he'll lay down. Takes forever. He's making biscuits. Yeah, he's a big guy. They anticipated when we got him that he was gonna be big. <laughs> I'll just wait. <laughs> he's doing stuff back there. Wait for him to get situated. He's laying half in it and half out of it. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> That's what he does. Don't ask me. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Okay, so that was the caramel corn. Highly recommended. It's a very yummy snack. It's sweet, but not too sweet. That's what I like a lot about Japanese sweets. They're not too sweet. Um, they're pretty good. So I definitely recommend that one. That would be easy for everybody to eat. All right, what do we got next? Well, now I can put the box down here. What the fuck was that? Smephany donated a dollar. Thank you, Smephany. If you're looking for a great me game, you could play Thrillville Off the Rails. What's that about? Is that like an Adventure Park game? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, who has that giant purple butt? We're gonna get a buddy mode too, by the way, I hope. Oh, I want all the buddy modes. Oh, and not that I expect anybody to get those higher tier sub prices, but in case they do, we're gonna make emotes for those two like the the sub badges they're just they're on the way they haven't been made yet but they will be you don't have to do that though i think it's ridiculous personally all right what we got we have what is this i think this tastes like cola because there's a big picture of cola on it um i don't know if i can read this i can read some of it meg megyun gaburu gaburu richu Where's Clever? He reads better than I do. I think that says Gaburu Richu. I don't know. Guys, it's been a long time since I've read Japanese. This is this is soda flavored candy, isn't it? I think it's taffy actually. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't like soda. I only like diet soda, which is weird. I don't like sweet soda, like Coke or Pepsi. I don't drink that. It's gross. Gaburu Richu. Oh, it's a so yeah. Curry icicle, your sister is insane for tits. Thank you so much. Bits for bagel. He thanks you very much. Uh, cola is the most popular and iconic flavor of gaburichu, a taffy-like soft candy. The refreshing taste of cola takes us back to the best of times. Festival nights with the best of friends. Well, we'll just see about this. I don't go to festivals and I don't have friends. Maybe this candy will change my life. I don't know. So, oh yeah, it, yeah, it's like a roll of taffy, kind of. It's soft. I'm just gonna take a piece off of it. Oh. Okay. That was tougher than I would have liked. Fine. Um. I have a real big adverse to anything that tastes like soda that's supposed to be a candy. I'm not into it. This does not smell great. I'm just gonna point that out right now. To me, I mean, if someone else likes cola flavor, it's like me with that fake banana flavor. Don't get anywhere near me with that mess. It's nasty. But some people like that stuff, right? All right, I'm gonna try it. It's... <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. 
Okay, where's that napkin I had on her? <laughs> Honestly? Excuse me. <laughs> well, oh God, the aftertaste is worse than having it in your mouth. Well, if you like cola flavored things, you'll love this. I gotta say, oh, it tasted like, okay, if you've ever drank stale Coke, like that has no fizz in it anymore, it tastes like that mixed with like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. No, <laughs> not for me. I'm sure somebody out there likes it, but um, oh, oh, that was regret. Okay, well they can't all be winners. It's okay. Whoo, you know what? Lemon water break. Oh, oh, God, it's, made my, it's making my water taste terrible. <laughs> mm -mm. That one's a no for me, big no. Don't worry, I got the lemon water, we're okay. I might need to open the window in here, guys. Do you care if I do that? It's gonna be loud, though. Like, if a bus goes by, do you care? We're dying in here. It's, like, 90 degrees. Hang on. Hang on to that thought. Just hang on one second. One second. One second. Yeah, I was muted. You don't know how I do. Professionalism. What I was saying was, is I don't know if you can see the cat. There he is. He's looking out the window. And then the other thing I was saying is that in the summer streams, we're unfortunately just going to have to have the window open. And you're going to hear birds. And you're going to hear, like, buses go by and stuff. There's nothing I can do about it. Just, I'm sorry. It's just going to have to be, because this room has sunlight. 90% of the day and it gets way too hot in here. It's also a corner room. So air doesn't flow. I have the wind I have the doors open too But air doesn't flow very well in here. Sorry about that One day I will have a professional studio where it doesn't get hot, but today is not that day John's is good for that because this is in the wives. basement. It's cold all the time Kill Neca, Thank you so much. Oh my gosh White Witch Namine, I missed you before with the bits. Thank you so much for that. All right. Can we please get over what just happened with the cola thing? Come on down where you can slam your own penis in the door of your luxury sedan. We will make that happen for you. Ah, thank you, Tits! Tenmar has been dying to shove his penis in the door of a luxury sedan, and now he has made it happen. Tenmar, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Tenmar, mind those from the bit mines. That's what he... I don't think Tenmar <laughs> thought that that was going to happen, but it did. Lol. <laughs> Tenmar, thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh. I thought this was supposed to be a sweets box, but I see something with wasabi on it, so we're gonna have to see what this is about. That wasn't you, Tenmar? It was a different Tenmar. Someone that's masquerading- the artist formerly known as Tenmar? Tenmar, it's okay. I'll thank you anyway, <laughs> whoever it was. <laughs> yeah, Tenmar donated the bits. It was him. What does this say? Wasabi nori taro wasabi no. Yeah, that's what it says. 
I don't know. This is what it looks like. I think it's a seaweed snack if I had to guess on first glance. Hi, Boonski, how are you? Oh, it's not, is it? Oh, wait a minute. I don't think it is seaweed. You know what I think it is? Oh, this is going to go very, oh. This is great. This is not, oh, I was right. It's not dried seaweed. It's dried fish. This is going to be so refreshing after that cola thing I just had. Oh, I can't wait for this, you guys. Mystical Ninja, I'll take a look at it. It's very sticky because I think it has like yakitori sauce on it, like kind of like a barbecue teriyaki sauce. Well, we're gonna try it because I said I'd try everything. <laughs> All right, let me make sure that's what this is. Yeah, it is dried fish snack from festivals. This is mostly like spring festival crate because that's what's happening in Japan right now. It's wasabi and seaweed flavored, sweet and salty with a very mild fish taste. We'll see about this. All right, you ready? It looks like wood. <laughs> That's what she said. It's not crispy. Oh shit, well, we'll get ready for the most unflattering picture ever. <laughs> Guys, I can't break. <laughs> oh, the flavor is very wasabi-ish. I like that because I like spicy. Um, the wasabi's strong, holy crap. How do you eat it? Oh my god. Yeah, it's not crunchy. It's like a jerky kind of. Yeah. Wow. That is strong wasabi. But it actually, you guys, it's not bad. It tastes like jerky. The wasabi is so strong in it. And then there's a little bit of sweetness on the end. You can't really tell that it's fish. Like if I told you this was chicken jerky, you'd probably believe me. It's not bad. Wood fish! I'm eating it. Yeah, no, it's not bad. This is light years better than the fucking Coke thing. <laughs> no, this is fine. I would eat this, yeah. In fact, I probably will later. I'm saving all these for later, because John probably won't touch most of these things. That's okay. Oh, I bet you the cat would like this, but there's way too much wasabi on it for him. It's wasabi fish jerky. It's actually pretty good. The horrified emote is- we have one. It's my face. I come. I always look horrified. 24 hours a day. Wow, I look like ass. I'm really sorry, you guys. Like I said, I haven't been sleeping. Also, my hair is a bit humid out today. My hair is not having any of it. What are you gonna do? There it is, Paige. That's the horrified face. Hey, what's this? This doesn't look like candy. Look. Look at that. Did I just get Pokemon cards? Pokemon. Oh! Oh, it's stickers! Oh, and I think there's gum in here, too. I think that's- okay, I think that's what this is. Let's look at them. Watch, I probably won't know what any of these Pokemon are. Let's see what we got. Now we can be on Twitch. We're opening Pokemon stuff. Oh yeah, there- here's the gum. I probably won't eat this because I'm eating other things. Yes. Liam, your little sister is insane for tits. I just thought I'd let you know. Thank you, darling. I love you lots. What's wrong, Bubby? What's the matter? Is your little sister insane for tits, too? Okay, he's leaving. He's probably looking for John. Alright, what is this now? Oh, I see. I don't know who these are. Who's this? Who are these two? I'm sure you guys know. Who are, who are these Pokemon? The blue and the white one. I don't know. Meowsticks? Is that really his name, Meowstick? Perfect for the cat stream. Aww. Well, he... Okay, so see what it is? I know that's Esper, right? Or Esper? The, the gray one with the crack eyes? I think that's what his name is. Oh, sorry. I don't know how the follow thing got messed up there. Sorry about that. Um... I don't know if you can see this, but this one thing here is a sticker, this whole thing here, and then this is individual stickers that are all jumbled up, and you can put them together, and it shows you how to do it. Oh god, just like the puzzles on Bowser's store that I've been doing lately. They're psychic types, are they? Oh, is this what Esper evolves into? Oh, that makes sense. But I've only ever seen uh, the Esper. 
Interesting. Well, this is cute. I'll keep this. All right, well, we got Pokemon stickers. Yeah, sometimes they include like something that isn't really candy or anything, like a fun toy. That happens sometimes. So this is what we got, I guess. That's neat. Cool. Is it Esper? Esper? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I'm probably not. Who knows? Who knows? All right, next. Ooh, I see a couple of things in here I recognize, actually. All right, let's see. Stop saying you look like ass. My wife can hear you. She said you look amazing. That's because you're far away from me right now. Like, if I got really close to you and you could see, like, the craters that are going on on my face right now from stress. 40 years old and still getting acne when I can't sleep is ridiculous. At 40, I should have a pass to not get acne anymore. Thanks. All right, here we go. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Actually, no, I don't know what this one is. In my lot, cheese... Uh, well, obviously, cheese is a big thing of fondue on it. I read it wrong. It... Okay, it's really easy to read these wrong if you don't read well, like me. So this is what it looks like. It says, Oh my ring cheese. I thought it said, Oh ring cheese. Which I was about to laugh about, and then be promptly banned from Twitch. Because look, they're O shaped. So I thought... <laughs> I thought it said O-ring cheese. Holy crap. <laughs> what? God. Yeah, this looks like another cheese corn snack. Hi, buddy. Why are you in here again? Uh-oh. Daddy's coming for you. You're in trouble now. Uh-oh. Are you hungry? Maybe daddy could go try to feed you some more. There he goes. He doesn't need anything? Oh dear. All right, well, go downstairs maybe and fill his, his, like, dump out the dry food from yesterday and give him the dry food, the forbidden dry food. Yeah, see if he'll eat that. Everyone says hi, John. Oh, I'm tired. He's tired. It's okay. We're both tired. We've had a lot going on. All right, so let's try these O-ring cheese things. I'm excited. Can't think of anything that sounds more tasty than an O-ring. You guys, they actually do look a little bit questionable. Can I just... Look at that. Look at the way that's shaped and tell me that doesn't look like a butthole. Just tell me it doesn't. And I'll believe you. Best butthole. And I'm about to eat it, too. Alright, fine. Well, what does it say about this? It says... <laughs> it says, Umay rings are... Big <laughs> Okay. Well, while the cat's here, I'll read this to you. Umai rings are bite-sized versions of Japanese national snack umayabu, another classic dagashi, popularly found at festivals. Cheese-flavored rings have the texture and shape of a Funyun, but the flavor of a Cheeto. Yes? Hey. What you doing? Mom's busy. We got a booty hole and a cat butt. Don't do that. Bye, buddy. Go play with daddy. That's rude. Girl, that's a booty hole, and I'm about to eat it. Okay, here we go. Funyun and a Cheeto mixed together. I'm a little nervous because I'm not a fan of Cheetos. I gotta be honest. And that looks that looks like a puckered butthole. It absolutely does. What the fuck was that? The compromise. The cat is now lying on my foot, so I can no longer move. Now you have to stand there in the hallway. Hello. Oh yeah, texture of a Cheeto for real. Just like it. Same exact thing. Maybe American Cheetos should take note and make theirs butthole shaped because people would clearly buy them. Have John try some? I will if I find something he likes. Look, that is a fucking puckered up bunghole. Tell me I'm wrong. Japan, you knew what you were doing and I'm gonna eat this one too. It's good. It literally just tastes like Cheetos. Like a mild version of Cheetos. So it's fine. It's good. Come on, buddy. Let's get you some food. Come on, bub. Oh, go with daddy. There he goes. He's out of here now. Tongue it? No, I'll get banned from Troy. <laughs> I don't think so. It looks like a ring. Well, it is, technically. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this looks very traditional. I think I know what this is, actually. Uh, this is called Dondonyaki. So, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a festival in Japan, but Dondonyaki is really popular. If you've ever heard of Okonomiyaki, 
It's along the lines of that. It's like a Japanese okonomiyaki pancake, but it's rolled up and you get them in like a plastic thing at festivals. I've had them before, they're actually really good. This looks like it's actually supposed to mimic a dondonyaki snack. This is kimchi flavor. Is it rolled up though? That's the thing, because dondonyaki is rolled up. Let's see what it looks like. Is this interesting for anyone? We will see. Oh no, it's not rolled. I think it's just bits that are supposed to taste like dondonyaki. So I'll show you some of the bits. The bits. Lord of Melons donated two dollars to say, girl, that's a booty hole. Waving Halo! Did I not even see your donation? I'm so sorry about that. Hey Luca, just finished my uni exams for the year and I thought I would donate to one of my favorite streamers. Hope everything works out for you. Thank you so much, that was so kind. I'm sorry I didn't see it until right now. Here's what they look like. Just normal stuff. I'm assuming it's gonna taste like kimchi and probably not much else. Oh, you guys want the crunch, right? You guys asked for that last time, so here we go again. Hmm. Yeah, it's kimchi flavor. It's a little bit salty. Which a lot of kimchi Chicken is. Wigs. Fallen Angels, thank you so much for 30 months in a row. It does look a little bit like Captain Crunch, but good lord. Man, you could pull a prank. You could dump this into someone's bowl and put milk in it. Good god, can you imagine? It's good. I like that they just referenced Don Donyaki because unless you've gone to a spring festival, you probably wouldn't even know what that is. So that's really interesting that they did that. That's good. I give it a thumbs up. Bit spicy, but not really. The wasabi one was way spicier than that. Liam needs a weed emote. I thought he had one for a while. Uh oh, I'm already seeing that there's a drink in this one. Now you know what happened with the drink last time, right? I hope this one is better, <laughs> but we'll get to that later. I'll do the drink last. Actually, speaking of drink. Let's clean our palette, shall we? Some lemon water. I don't know if it stays crunchy in milk. Would you ever drink kimchi milk? Probably not. A lot of corn snacks in here. I think it's because it's spring festival box and I think right now in Japan, corn is like really in season. They're all about corn during festival times. So that makes sense to me. All right, oh, this looks like a sweet one. Thank goodness for that. Look at this. It's cute. Little baker. It's a strawberry roll. So this says... Rolu cake. Hmm. Can't read the bottom part. Yeah, it just says roll cake. And then Ichigo, which is strawberry. And the rest of it, I don't know what that says. Alright. Corn is so in right now. Alright, let's try it. This one says... Roll cakes are super kawaii and like cream cakes, strawberries are the classic emblem of cuteness as far as food goes. Share with your festival date to make the moment extra sweet. I don't got no festival date. I'm gonna eat it my fucking self. Thank you very much. Alright, for one thing, you think it's a lot bigger than it is. Because here's the package, but look where it starts. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just make it small if you're gonna make it small. Let people know what they're getting. Alright, I think this one we might have to eat the whole thing. There it is. It's a little roll, just like it said. This is probably going to be quite delicious, actually, so let's do it. It's like what you'd expect. It's vanilla cake with strawberry frosting in it. It's good. It is really cute looking. Like you could... Who's giving me $50 to watch me eat this? Medicine, what are you doing? You don't have to do that. Get it in Jasper's mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. Medicine says, Hi, Luca, in the past two years have been difficult. I moved to Germany from the US, and unfortunately the city I live in is very xenophobic. Your streams are the closest thing to community that I have. Thank you and feel better, bagel. Girl, I know how hard moving can be, especially to a new country. And especially one that's a little more rigid than what we're used to, but hang in there. It'll get better, I promise. I'm sure that you can make yourself part of the community in no time. 
just be nice and be yourself and be nice to people, right? And I think it'll be okay. Thank you so much. Bagel really appreciates it too. Does this count as social eating? I think so, but I think we have to put it on IRL since I'm talking more than eating. I'm not sitting down like at a plate. I think that's how it goes. Should I just finish this? I'm gonna, I'm putting the whole thing in my mouth. I don't care. Don't give a crap. Yeah, this is good. I like that it's not too sweet again. The cake part is not overly sweet. It doesn't seem like it, but there's a lot of frosting in it. Maybe I could do with a little less. But I'm just not a frosting person, per se. But I'm sure anyone that is would like this. Hello, Dark Fire. We're going on and on. Oh, I think we've been doing this for like an hour. Maybe a little bit less. I'm opening Japan crates. Darkfire Yoshi was the one that signed me up for these, so everyone thank him that we have this material. Very good of him to do so, and we have been enjoying these a lot. Oh, wow! So this is one I recognize. I just can't believe we got such a big box of it. Has anyone had these before that have had Japanese sweets? These are very prominent. They're almost like as known as Paki. These and Paki and like the koalas that have the chocolate in them, these are very, very well known. I just can't believe the box is actually really big. Yeah, these are really good. Cream colon. Don't say colon. Because that's what I did at first because I'm immature as shit. That's not what you say. So yeah, people have seen these before, right? So this is a strawberry one, obviously. I'm gonna have some of these because I haven't had these in years. They're really, really good. Those are those Pepperidge Farm cookies. Almost. Sort of? I don't know. These are strawberry cream filled wafers. Perfect for sharing during spring festival season. Look cute doing it too, especially if you're into all kawaii things pink. I sure am. I'm the cutest person around that's not wearing pants or a bra this fucking stream, right? I really give two fucks about how cute I am eating this candy. Oh, thank goodness for this. Look what they did. Hello. He ate a bunch of his dry food and a little bit of his wife. Did you give him the forbidden dry food? And I actually didn't do anything. He went down and Oh, he went and ate it. it. Yeah. Oh, good. And he did eat some of his meatballs? Yeah. Yay, good job, Bubby. He's right behind you in case I want to actually congratulate him. Watch out. Good job, Bubs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, thank you for doing this. They actually made it a shareable box. Sometimes when you get the big boxes of like the koalas and the pockies, it's all in one wrapper and I hate that because you it's hard to reclose them. You just literally can't. So this is nice that they gave you a shareable box to share with your friends. This is perfect. So I'll just take one out. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six in here. So that's perfect. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And then you can just whoop. Close the box back up. Oh, it has a little thing too, look. You can close it. And it's closed. Perfect, yay. I like things that are neat and organized. All right, so let's have some of these. John would like these, I'm gonna, that's why I was glad that it's shareable. I'm gonna save some for him later. He would like these a lot. You can close the colon, you can. So have you guys ever had combos? Have you ever seen what combos are? If you're from the States, I'm sure you've seen those things, right? They're, they either come in like crackers or they sometimes come in pretzels too and they have like cheese or other things in the middle. This very similar to a combo. But it's gonna be sweet and not salty. So here we go. Hopefully there's a crunch test for you guys. Sort of. It's not crunchy like a combo because it's not a cracker. It's more of like a wafer that's rolled. So it's half soft, half crunchy. I'll get close and try again. These are good. The strawberry flavor on these is not strong. I think a lot of things that people are surprised about at first is when you get a Japanese sweet and you're used to American sweets which are so full of corn sugar and really strong tasting is they think that these are bland but 
when you let it sit in your mouth a minute, then you actually get like a real strawberry flavor instead of like a fake one. So it's a little bit more muted, but it's good. I prefer these. Not too crunchy, but a good texture. Yeah. Yeah, the Japanese really aren't really into like um, putting corn syrup and everything like we are. The, the market is not there for that. They would have to import it all. Oh, thank you. I love this ring too. I wear it all the time. I'm just gonna eat them all. There's like five in here. Goodbye, Litten Kitten Mishy Mishy. Thanks for being here. Yeah, high chew is really good. Oh my god. I wish we kind of got some in here, but I don't think we did. You guys doing okay? If you need a break or something to get a drink, let me know. Where can you sign up for these boxes? I believe it's japancrate.com or possibly Umai Crate, or you could Google it because we also have the ramen crate to go through as well. And you can get a beauty crate, you can get a Japanese toy crate too, and I think some other things too. Haichu is really good. I like it. All right. What is this? It looks like a turd. It says. Oh, it's Fugashi, of course. I had it upside down, so I'm like, what is this? Read it this way, and it's Fugashi. Jeez. So, how do I, how do I expect, how do I explain what Fugashi is? It's like a, a brown sugar corn kind of snack. It's a puff, and you, you get them at festivals. Again, most of these kind of mimic festival food that you would get. This is a big one. Look at that. I think it, it feels very light. It's gonna be a puffed corn snack that should have this brown sugar glaze on top of it, which you would get. And this is the obviously the snack version of. You don't get something that looks like a Rice Krispie, you get like a baked thing. All right, you ready for this? This should be good. I haven't had one of these at a festival before, but I know what they are. Um, it's big. Oh. Well, it's gonna have to happen sometime. So here we go. It's really good. It's light. I don't know if you can hear this. Listen. Do you hear that? It's almost like that styrofoamy kind of sponge, but it's really su it's not greasy. So yeah, it's a little bit like a churro actually, but it's super good. It is sweet on the inside. I like it. I've never had one of these in this kind of form. Yeah, here, let me, I'm gonna smush it a little bit for you so you can hear what the texture's like. It's kind of hard to describe this. Listen to this. See that? And it kind of smushed, it didn't crumble. That's the kind of thing it is. Stop fingering your food. No! I'm here to explain these to you. Yeah, it's like a sweet bread, kind of. It's good. Like a coffee crisp without the crisp. Kind of, yeah. It's, it's got like a spongy inside. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? What's wrong, bubby? Daddy's downstairs. Go get him. What's that mean? I don't speak your language. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what he's mad about. He's doing something. All right. What? Here's what we have next. What is this? Is this uh? Another corn snack, I think, probably. What does this say? Is this even listed in here? What is wrong, darling? It is. It's corn snack. Well, I mean, you can see the corn on it. Eight-piece crispy corn. It just, uh, yeah, it's just crispy corn. Oh, I think it's spicy, too. Oh, he can go out the window. The door's open. He can leave. No, he's okay. Bagel's just want. He wants to play is what he wants. He wants someone to play and pay attention to him, pet him. Guess what he wants. Fallen Angels, did I get you for the 30 months? I hope I did. This is all corn, you guys. I wish we had the corn emote ready. It's not ready yet, but it will be. Oh, 
so much corn. Gentlemen, behold, more corn. So much corn. Okay, so some of them are broken. But I guess this is supposed to simulate like a cob of corn, probably. All right, so this says uh, grilled corn is a must have snack whenever you're at a festival in Japan, true. Grilled corn is really good. Oh, sorry about the bus. The crispy and sweet taste of corn on the cob is perfectly replicated in this light and crisp corn puff snack. It even looks like corn. All right, well, we'll see. Ready for crunch time? Let's see if we got it. Ten ten crunch right there. The crunch was big. So I don't know how to explain this, but it actually really it tastes exactly like corn somehow. I don't know how. What is this magic? literally tastes exactly like corn does like it has that sweet aftertaste that corn does amazing it's actually really good it's not spicy like i thought i think the fire just means that it's grilled or it's supposed to have like a grilled taste there's no spice to it at all it's really good yeah i recommend this one for anybody that's good good all right another sweet snack coming Aww, this looks so cute. Look at this. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I think this is a DIY one. Remember we had one of these last time where I mixed up the stuff? I think that's what this is. Petit, petit. What? I can't read some of this, you guys, I'm sorry. Chocolate snack something. Petit chocolate, okay, what does it say? I'll just read it. Petite pastel DIY colorful chocolate snack kit. Ooh. This adorable DIY kit can be set up to be like an ice cream stand at festivals. Then pair candy that looks just like the colorful ice cream scoops with chocolate pieces and a variety of cute shapes. <gasps> Let's do this right now. All right, let me put the box up so we can see what we're doing. DIY chocolate. Uh oh, that was the cane. Might have to put it on this so you can see. Here we go. Open. Is this, does this need science? I think this needs science. Oh God, there's directions, hang on. Oh, there's a lot of directions, you guys. Uh oh. We might not be able to do this with the cat in the room because if I start mixing things and stuff, he's probably gonna come over here. Oh, okay, and you can, oh gee, this is very elaborate. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but you can also cut out the box so it looks like, well, let's just look. Mess it up. Science! There's only one packet, so I don't think you actually mix anything. Let's take a look. Oh, Bubby. What's wrong, honey? Go find Daddy. He might have to poop soon. This is really TMI, but he's not gonna care. Because his his um, stomach bothered him for so long, and he had really, really awful bowel movements until we fixed his IBS, he's been afraid to poop, like, ever since. So, I think whenever he has to poop, he gets a little anxious. Then he goes and does it, and he's okay. I know, it's a bit weird. Yeah, how are you supposed to... It says that you're supposed to pair the the color with the, but it's already in the chocolate. I don't know if you can see. And then there's like a square shape here. It looks like it's in a little dish. These are melting actually because it's so warm in here. Shoot, I'll hurry. Look, there's an ice cream cone, but they're already paired together. So I'm not sure what you're actually supposed to do. I guess you just put the candies in a, what? Anyone? Does anyone know what this is? Here's a pink one. In a cone. Yeah, I guess you just set it up the way you want. Alright, so I'll eat some of the chocolate and we'll see. Uh, these need to go into the fridge because they're getting a little bit melty. So I'm assuming they all have different... Yeah, I think it's just decoration and I think you can just cut out this box 
if you can see inside here, it has like the little open store and like cups and stuff. So it's like a toy for children. So you just eat these the way they are, I think. So here's the green one. Loudest road ever. Ooh, they're yummy actually. It's not just straight chocolate, there's like a wafer in there too. So it's chocolate with a little bit of crunch. See the little cone? Hi. What's wrong? You want to play, I can tell. Where's Daddy? Daddy needs to come get you. Big time. He wants to play. Alright, cool. Well, that's just really yummy. I'm not going to set it up. But I like it. No, we can't give Bagel any chocolate. That's not good. That's a no-no. All right, what do we got? We still have more. Someone's in like a farting motorcycle. What is this? This isn't candy. Hey, what's this one piece thing I got? What? Hello, you're a cat. How are you today? All right, um. What's this thing I got? Another thing. I don't know if this has any candy in it. Oh, it's a bonus piece. Okay. Oh, you know what it is, guys? I haven't seen this in so long. It's stationary. Oh man, when I lived in Japan in the 90s, stationary was so huge, and I think it still kind of is. And you could get like the cutest sets of anything, and I would want to send letters all the time because of it. So look, this is the envelope. So you could send this now and use this. This is so cute. Aw, that's adorable. And then here's the sheets you write Chicken on. Chicken wings! That's adorable. And then you can seal the envelope or put stickers on your letter. This is so cute. I haven't seen One Piece in a million years. I think it's still going on because it's literally the anime that doesn't end. Ever. This is so cute. I'll use these. Buddy. Hi. Where's- I need to go yell at daddy because he's not doing a very good job of keeping you out of here. Not at all. Hi, you sniffing things? You're sitting on my keyboard too. Yes. Let's uh go- let's uh, message dad and see where, where he is and why he's not here getting you. Can you- okay. Stop. Please stop. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to lay on the keyboard. Alright, are you gonna lay there? If you lay there, that's okay. Okay? Okay, don't move. If I close my door, it's gonna be hot as balls in here. He wants me to love his butt. He does. Hello. Hello, are you okay? Okay, you stay right there. We're gonna open some candy together, okay? I need this- I need this paper, though, that you're laying on. There we go. Okay, thank you, buddy. Okay, you just clean your crotch on my desk and I'm gonna open this delicious food, okay? Okay, good. Oh, I know what this is. This is a Hello Kitty Choco Marshmallow. It's not a banana one, so hopefully it'll be okay. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, right? The strawberry ones are super popular. All right. So it should be just a marshmallow with chocolate in it. Oh my god, okay, so I gotta I gotta tell you about this. Japanese marshmallows are like made of some kind of magic. You know how like when you, have you ever opened American marshmallows and they, they're just a bit weird, like they're kind of sticky-ish and they've got the powder on them which is a little off-putting and they're like not, this is literally like a magic pillow cloud. And it's not sticky at all. Do you want to smell it? How does it smell? You can't eat it though, buddy. I'm sorry. He's not impressed. But I'm telling you that it's like, there's nothing on it. It's soft as hell. It's like... Oh god, it's probably... Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Ready? I'm gonna eat it. You gonna help me eat it? Nope. It's good. I 
Bye, buddy. It's really good. Way better than that banana marshmallow we had last time. Hi, bub. No, no, no. You can't go back there, honey. All right. Be right back. I'm going to have to get him out of here. What the fuck was that? As much as I love you, you don't sit still. See, people are donating to see your face. You're not even showing it to them. Sage Todd, thank you so much. Hey, Luca. Also, Bagel. I hope everything's okay. Either way, I wish you all the best. Much love. And traveling through Haldra. Four months in a row. Thank you so much. All right. Should I go by? <laughs> You want to sit on my lap, you lump? I'm giving you one last chance. No. No, I want to sit on things you need to use. That's way more interesting. Oh, buddy. Oop. Okay. Oop. All right. I'm turning off the keyboard because that's the only way it's going to save us because he's going to turn the stream off at some point. Hi, sweetheart. You can lay there. I know it's hot in here. I don't know why you want to be in here. It's way too hot. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm a little worried about this. Because I saw this earlier. And I read it, and I'm like, how? So here's what it looks like. It's chocolate corn. What? At least they didn't put a picture of, like, a corn cob dipped in chocolate. Because that would look really, really weird. Oh, do you want to sleep in the Japan crate? Oh, hang on. Yeah, we can do that, buddy. Here, let me move it, and then you can get into the box. Okay, there you go. Go ahead and sit in the box. What in the fuck was that? So this is a chocolate, it's a chocolate corn snack. The first thing I thought of when I thought of chocolate corn was just pooping out a bunch of corn. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie about it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh my god, Nena, are you sure? Nena donates and says to bagel. Oh, thank you so much. All right, we're, we gotta we gotta try chocolate corn now, okay? It's very important that we do this for science. I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> I didn't get any corn. Here's what they look like. Kind of looks like dog food. <laughs> Bit. Bobby, what are you doing? Bobby, you can't fit back there. <clears throat> All right, I've never had this one before, actually. So here we go. Crunch factor. Not really crunchy. Okay. It's weird because the texture is like a Cheeto. That soft kind of corn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. That's a no-no. Be right back. I'm sorry. He knocked over like five Sonico figures just now. <laughs> and uh, a couple of Steven Universe figures have gone to the wayside. Can't have that. He'll be back, don't worry. He's on a small break. <laughs> okay, back to the corn. It's weird because think of a Cheeto that didn't have cheese on it, but it had chocolate on it instead with that texture of a Cheeto. The taste is good, but the texture is really strange because you're used to this texture being on Cheetos or Funyuns and not a chocolate product. So there's no cheese or onion or anything on it. It tastes like chocolate. But the texture of it would make you think that you were biting into a Cheeto. Which is weird. You guys, this is a corn box. Like a non-stop corn product. We've gotten nothing but corn. 
and a couple of other things, but it was really good. My pick for all of these, um, I gotta say, I was surprised about this one, like how much it actually tastes like you're eating actual pieces of corn. I don't know how they did that magic. That was really good. The marshmallow, the Hello Kitty marshmallows are always good. Um, and uh, and I like this one a lot too, the traditional uh, don don. This was nice. All in all, this was a really good box. I think the only thing I, I just would not stand and not recommend to anyone is this thing. The cola candy was the worst thing by far. But remember, in this box too, we also got the One Piece stationery and the Pokemon stickers. So that was nice. We have one more thing to go, by the way, before this is over. I saved the best possibly for last, because last time we saved the drink for last and it turned out to be quite something. Just putting all this away. Oh, remember, we got this huge ass box of this too. So this was a really good box. It had a lot of stuff in it. Loads. All right, so last time we did the drink, I think I actually still have the can. It was a chunky melon soda drink, so but it was supposed to be non-fizzy. You'd shake it up to make it a little bit foamy, and there was pieces of melon jelly in the soda. It was gross. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I don't know who could have gotten by that, but not for me. I'm a little more hopeful about this one, it looks like this is a lemon cider. I love lemon drinks. I've got lemon water right here. I'm very actually excited about this one, so I'm gonna try it right here and now. Um, it thick, it was gross. It, it poured like snot. It wasn't even liquid. It was nasty. Okay, I'm sorry, it was nasty. All right, here we go. Please don't let this be thick or have anything weird in it. All right. Lemon. It smells just like lemon. And I think it is slightly carbonated. Here we go. Oh, it's really good! Thank God! It's really light. It is carbonated. And it's lemony. Lemon soda's good. Oh, ma'am. Yep. Good. I would drink this. Probably better if it was cold. It's like a little bit under room temperature right now. And this is like the perfect size drink for me. Like when you want to get a drink and you don't want a whole can of something, but you just need something to take with you, like this little can is perfect. You don't see these though in America, like, but in Japan you can get one of these like out of a, a machine. I have seen the new SU episodes and let me tell you something, holy oh, shit. Them's the something. Cold lemon soda is the bomb. San Pellegrino lemon soda is like my favorite, but I don't drink that too often. It's got a lot of sugar in it, actually. Hello, Evie Twitchit. How are you? Thanks for coming. That's good. I would recommend that. Much better drink than last time. So yeah, we've got a lot. So this box was really good, you guys. I think, I honestly think it was actually better than the last one we got. Look at that. We still have so much left. And I took a bite out of just about everything, so. This is my dinner. <laughs> so yeah, this was a really, this spring one was really good. Oh, I forgot the O-rings, the cheese O-rings. We gotta put those back. Oh, and the ramen snack too. Don't forget that either. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff in here. I miss you too, Sean. I'm gonna see you real soon. Very excited about this. All right, so what, do we need a break before we do the ramen stuff? Is that what you guys would like? I'm gonna go get a quick refill on my lemon water, make sure the cat is fine, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so go get a drink if you want, or get a snack, or open your windows if you need to, and then we'll start the ramen box. So BRB.
we are back. Hello. If you're just joining us, hello. We've got loads of stuff happening. We're talking about life. Chatting, hanging out. We're also listening to the traffic in the background. And we're opening boxes of things from Japan. We just did a sweets and savory snacks box. And I also have a ramen box to show you now. Excited Chicken for you. wings! Missy Agna, thank you so much for subscribing for 28 months in a row. Hello. Let's get this box. Here's the ramen box. So, probably just put it over here like I did with the other one and just pull them out as needed. But I will show you what it looks like when you open it. So you can see. Yeah, pizza. Girl, that's pizza. Ooh, look at this. So the Amai crate is like ramen mostly, ramen, udon, things like that. So if you like ramen, you can order this one too. The Ghibli music is on YouTube, but I will link it to you if you want. One momento, actually, I'll do that now. You got the job, Varmi? Seriously? And you get to ride horses? That's so cool! I'm proud of you, man. Yeah! Jake Monroe with the 20 bits. Thank you so much. Alright, so like the snack box, this comes with a little letter that will tell you what the ramen is and how to prepare it, in case you don't know. And then it, you know, has ads and it crap. So this is a spring ramen box, so if I had to guess... I would say they're probably going to be very light ones with like a, maybe some vegetarian ones because we did get vegetarian ones in the last one. So uh, let's do the show. We? We'll probably get some bag ones and some like cup ones like instant cups. We did get those last time. All right, so let's do this. What we got? <clears throat> My throat is crazy because the weather keeps changing. Ooh, so we had this brand in the last one. You guys recognize this? The top here is the same. But I think this flavor is different. So this is shoyu, 100% vegetarian soy sauce ramen. So actually, I think we might have gotten this one in the last box too, did we? I think we did get a vegetarian soy sauce version. So I had this one from the last time from the box and dude, it was great. It was really good. It was so light and refreshing. And if you don't like light ramen, you could add like anything to this because it was such a good flavor. You could add curry to it, like you could add whatever you wanted. I think I just had mine with some spinach on it. It was so good though. So yeah, this is 100% vegetarian. I don't know if it's vegan, probably not if I had to guess, but still. Free of animal and seafood ingredients, it says. I don't know if that means egg or not. Sometimes they use egg, but man, I don't know. Yeah, it says that just add whatever veggies you want and you could have a vegetarian noodle dish. So that's this one. I did like this one last time. Why? Go drive somewhere else. This is a residential area. Thanks. Hi, Kinky, how you doing? Yeah, you could put cheese on it if you wanted. Why not? Cheese on ramen is like huge in Korea right now, by the way. That's like big time something important. I don't know why, but it is. All right, what do we got? Next, I'm just pulling these out as I get. Ooh. Well, this immediately looks like buckwheat soba to me. I wonder if that's what it is, or at least buckwheat noodles in a cup. Cool. This is considered a snack size cup. We got one of these in the last one too. We got a snack size cup, it's smaller. So if you just wanted something quick on the go, you could you could do that. I know I hate traffic noise, you guys, it's weird. I hate it. I'm facing like the main road, so that's why. So yeah, okay, so this is Ace Cook Mini Tempura Buckwheat Shrimp Soba. Oh, it's reduced salt too. That's what this says right here. It has 40% less salt, which is good because ramen is like super salty, especially the instant one. I can't read kanji. No, not at all. I suck. What is the program for the Bits Cup? Oh, I use Streamlabs. 
It's their, it's their cup. So if you already use Streamlabs for donations and notifications, they have a cup. Alright, what does it say about this one? Because I've never had this one particularly. It's a mini noodle cup with buckwheat soba. You could put shrimp in it, scallions. Yeah, shrimp would be good. A lot of green onion, I think, for this one would be good too. I'm excited. I like the snack ones Chicken actually. Wigs. If you want to have ramen but you don't want to have like a whole packet or use the calories, these mini ones with like a salad next to it, so good. The Great Mananan has just subscribed. This looks really interesting. I'm excited to try this. I don't even know if I ate the mini cup from the last one though. I think I still have it downstairs. Doria, so good, Kisiri. I had it once at a Japanese Denny's of all places and it was so, so good. There's a little paradox. She's there. She's holding the boot. Ooh, okay. This one looks really fancy. Look at this one. So already this is bonito flavor because that's usually what this means. Like the anchovy flavor is like considered like seafood bonito flavor. So... It's got gold on it. That means it's good, right? I think so. What is this? This is... I was holding it wrong. <laughs> That's why I couldn't read it. It's this way. Hello, this makes much more sense. This is Kokubu Tabete Nagasaki Prefecture Soy Sauce Chicken Flavored legs. Dashi Ramen. Yeah, so this is gonna be a seafood flavor. So if you wanted to add like egg or seafood, you would do that to this one. Amanam, thank you so much, darling. 15 months in a row. Oh, no, blue wild card, I understand. Some people just don't, and that's okay. You just noticed Peridot? Here, should I make her a little bigger? She's just sitting there. Doing whatever. She's just minding her business. There she is. Just sitting by the cup. Holding her shoe. Ma'am. So, okay. So this is actually considered a premium ramen. I guess that's what the gold label is for. So it, it feels like there's actually a lot of flavor packets in here. And it feels like there's a liquid one too, which is usually typical of a premium one. I wonder if you have to... Yeah, so you do boil it in water and then you add a sauce and a packet. So there's a couple of things you add in this one. So yeah, I'm, ex Ooh, I'm excited to try that. Maybe I'll have that one tonight. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, got another cup. Here we go. Aha. This looks very traditional. Here's the cup. This is Maru Solman. That's what it says. So, this is a, this is considered a mini too. Even though I I don't know. I think that's pretty standard for like a cup, like a, a to go cup of soup. But this is considered a mini. So this is a noodle that's enjoyed during summer. Solman has faint hints of yuzu to the broth. Ooh, that's lemony flavor, like a citrus. It's light and makes a great bite for when you only have a few minutes to come up with something to eat. So they suggest sesame seeds with it. Scallion and egg. Oh man. Yeah, I like sesame flavored anything. So this is probably going to be one that I'm going to like. No, don't cough. Orange juice, are you okay? Yeah, this is a mini. It's a... Uh, how big is it? It is... Well, I was looking for like the ounces, but I don't see it. Don't they have to tell you? Well, it's somewhere. Only 162 calories because it's considered mini. So again, have this with a salad. You're good. You're at, I'm at, we're at the soup store right now. This is literally the soup store. You're in it. Oh, pertussis, yuck. That's bad. I hope you feel better. We are at soup. Goodbye, XTC Refugee. Thank you so much for your generosity earlier. It's so appreciated. Thank you so much. Tacos are my salad. Am I buying clothes? No, but I need to. I do have a switch. Yes, indeed. I love it. <gasps> Uh-oh. This looks like miso ramen. That's one of my favorite flavors. These you don't find too often. 
So yeah, you can see for sure that that's miso in there. Ooh, I'm very excited about this, you guys. I love miso and curry ramen most, I think. This is Fujisa. That's what this says right up here. Fujisa miso ramen. So yeah, what does it say about this? Our April trend of healthier noodles, we've included this miso ramen. It uses non-GMO soy along with plant-only ingredients and scallop to flavor the broth. So it's not vegetarian, but it's non-GMO soy and plant ingredients. So fresh ingredients help make this a healthier ramen. Nice, I can't, oh man. So if you're making miso ramen, add corn. Trust me on this, just add some corn, like maybe a fourth a cup is all you need. Add a lot of green onion. What else would you add? You could add egg for sure if you wanted to, to a miso ramen. It is so good. Don't ask me why corn works, it just does. <laughs> Yes, TD, I do miss being in Japan all the time. And you know what made me really miss Japan the most, like recently, is playing Persona 5. Holy crap. Every time I saw Shibuya, I was just like, oh my god, why can't I be there in Shibuya? Like, seriously, Orikabura, like, ugh. Chill, like, guys, what are you doing? No! Oh no, that's not $5. Oh, he made the cup explode. With chicken wings. <laughs> Oh, Chilled, you didn't have to do that. That's so sweet. Chilled says, totally off topic and I'm super late to the stream, but please have some money to help Bagel. Oh my god, thank you. Are you sure? I'm gonna have to save my money for years to go back to Japan, but I will get there. Don't you worry about that. I did, for not as long as I want to. Ooh, guys, I think we've got... I think we've got an udon here. It's very heavy and it's big. Look at that. So those those giant wide white noodles, that's udon for sure. That is what that is. I haven't had an udon takeaway cup in like, I can't even remember how long. Don't think ever. Yeah, this is udon for sure. So it says kinchan, right here, kinchan. Dates. Tetsu... Tsuyaki? Tsukiyaki? Akajiso udon. What? What does it say? I have to read. Okay, this is, has a red colored broth, which is super tasty. Adding a bit of toasted sesame seeds rounds out the flavor. The noodles are chewy. Yeah, because udon noodles are really thick. Oh, man. Oh, I want to try this. I've got toasted sesame seeds, too. I'm going to load it up. I'll take a picture of it when I do. Man. This is a big cup, too. I love me some udon noodles. I'm excited about this, you guys. I'm going to eat all of this and become super fat. Fun. Thick. Oh, have... my oh, my God. Zemnis. Don't touch her suspenders. Don't do it. I really needed the stream if something very bad happened today. Girl, I hope you're okay. You're amongst friends. Chicken wing. Have a seat and I hope we can make you feel better. Oh my god, the cup is blowing up. Why do they make the cup when you can only have like two layers of bits in it before it <laughs> explodes? Look at that butt heart. Boink. Oh, it kicked the bit out. Look at that sh that's, Chicken that's amazing. Wings. That's amazing to me. Mr. L56789, thank you so much. 22 months in a row and waving halo. Thank you for eight months in a row. The cup exploded. Udon does fill you up. The noodles are so big. That's what she said. <gasps> Kumamon is back. Remember this bear? We had him in the last Japan crate too. We had him on another cup of ramen. This is Udon though. So he's back in an Udon thing. You can tell it's Udon by the noodles. Uh, this says, oh, this brush calligraphy, I can't read it. Itsu Itsuki? Itsuki. I think it's soy sauce flavor. Aw, oh, Beely. I hope you're doing okay. I'm so sorry. Bless you. Bless, bless your little animals running up in heaven. They're looking down on you now. They're angels watching down on you. Take care. All the love to you, okay? Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, this is making me hungry for ramen too, and I, I can't, I already ate dinner, pretty much. 
Kumamon is back with another udon. This particular dish features tempura pearls. Ooh. And is often served during summer. We highly recommend dressing it the same way as last month's udon. So they suggested egg, I think, and some green onion. Oh, so the tempura crunchies you put on top, and then you have soup and the chewy noodles, and then crunch too, so you got like everything. So that's really good, and this is a big bowl. Good lord. Tempera pearls, yay. They have corn in the picture too. Oh, I'm telling you, spring. Corn in Japan, huge. So you could do that. I know, I wanna eat all these now. Can't do it though. Can't do it. Oh, all the hugs for Beely, huh? They need it right now. What's this? This isn't ramen. <gasps> Guys, look! This is so cute! What is this thing that I got? A bonus item? What is this? Turn to the next page. Okay, I'll do it. The bonus? There is no next page. You lied to me. It was the page before. Portable chopstick and spoon set included in this Umai crate is sporting our logo. Let's have a look. That's so cute. I don't have a set like this, like a nice portable set. That's adorable. All right, let's take this out and see if we can put it together. So I'm pretty sure that you put the spoon together like this. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Like this. Ding! Hi, yo! How you doing, girl? Hi, yo is here with his five dollars and says, Ruka, I hope one day you get to taste my delicious recipes. My ramen is best ramen, but any ramen is good ramen. Ramen Ruka is really good, really good. Man, that's an old reference. I got you, girl. Let's put the chopsticks together. Let's see how well they work. I do have a middle name. It's not a good one, though. Here we go. These are nice. These are perfect. And this case is so tiny. It's not, you know, because they fold. It's not the long ones like they usually have. This is so cute, this. Oh, I like this, actually. So you can just eat your ramen whenever, however. Cute. I'm excited that I got these. Sweet. Put them back. My middle name is Butts. That's right. It absolutely is. Uh oh. Am I going to be able to put this back the correct way? I don't remember how they were before. Probably should have paid attention to that particular detail. I think I've got it. Hang on. Maybe. No? Uh oh. One second. No, we'll get it. Honestly, this would happen. It's like putting a puzzle back together. Jesus. These are gifts. These are gifts from Dark Fire Yoshi. All right, let's see if I can do this. Is it gonna close? Ha! I've done it, but it's not perfect. So what? Wow, we got a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm so excited. Look at all this ramen we got. Jesus. We got... No, oh, God. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this one's flatter. We got that. So all this, these three... These four came in this ramen thing. Look at this. It's crazy, right? That's good. And the and the bonus gift of the chopsticks and the spoon. Yatsu! Yeah, I should probably put these back. Let's see if I can actually fit it back in the box. Is there anything else in here? No, we have emptied it. Chicken wings! SD Regal, thank you for five months in a row! This is amazing. I'm still in awe by receiving these, because I didn't even realize that such a thing existed. This is such a cool idea. If you don't have 
access to like an Asian grocery store or something, then this would be really good for you if you wanted to try something. It comes in a subscription box. So the subscription box gives you everything, like this. So I got this one box and then I got the box of sweets too. Oh my god, Check, are you sure? I don't want you to spend too much money to ship it over here is the only thing. If you feel okay with doing that, I would love to do that. The only thing with the food is that it absolutely has to be completely sealed and packed. Like, that's very important. I can't accept homemade food, unfortunately. Especially not after all the scary stuff that's been happening lately. Am I gonna really get Splatoon 2? Probably. John will probably get it. I don't know if I'll play it a lot, but I'll probably try it. What should we do now? We're done. We have nothing else to open. I'm still drinking my lemon soda though, don't worry. I want to thank everybody that donated for Bagel. I really appreciate that. You guys did not have to do that. Like seriously, I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys and hang out because whenever I'm feeling like crap or feeling like super stressed, even though it, for some reason, it's really stressful for me to do these streams sometimes because I have a lot of anxiety about entertaining you guys. <laughs> Cause I just don't feel like I'm entertaining half the time. I like hanging out with you guys really does make me feel so much better. You guys are so good. You missed the sweets, oh no! There were so many. Oh, that's great. Yes, Botulabo, look at it. Link me on Twitter and I'll take a look. I will check the tweets as soon as we're done. I'm so worried about Bagel. I think he'll be okay. I'm really hoping that the procedure that he has on the 30th will just end his problems. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but man, that is what we're hoping for. <laughs> I always look like ass, so don't expect anything else. Just know that when you get a stream with my face on it, that that's what it's gonna be. Big ass Muppet face, like every day. I'm not even wearing pants. I, for I took off my bra by accident because I was home and I was like, yeah, time to take everything off. And then I realized as I started the stream that I still didn't have it on. And I'm like, well, this is my life now. Too bad. <laughs> One thing I want to ask you guys is what kinds of streams would you like to see in the future? Do you want do you want more of these like hanging out kind of streams? Do you want um streams where we like do you want more art stream? I mean that might take a while the art streams because my tablet isn't in the best condition and I can't save up for one right now because of all the stuff that's going on with Bagel. So that has to be put on the back burner. But when I do get it, would you like to see more of that? Would you like to see late night Final Fantasy shenanigans? where me and my guild do dungeons and stuff. What would you guys like? Cat watching stream. I don't know how, how uh, I could do that like on a schedule, but I could try it. Just hanging out is fun. Even like this, where we're not doing anything, we could just talk about stuff, whatever. I'm here for you guys. I wanna be your big sister with ratty, frizzy hair from the humidity. One thing I wanted to do, and, and tell me what you think about this, some of you know the last stream I tried to do, I was really kind of, I was bummed out because the internet wasn't working. And we tried to do Leader Suit Larry 6, and I was just having all manner of problem. So you probably noticed if you went on Twitch to look at the VOD that it's all like broken up into like 6 minutes, 8 minutes, 26 minutes. What do you think about me restarting that on another stream day so we can actually go through it and have it continuous so people can watch it? Because the way it is now with all the crashes that I had, it's just really crappy. And I had the wrong version at, at first as well. So do you, would you guys care if we just restart it? We only went for two hours so I can easily catch up to where we were and then uh, keep going with that. Because I would like to show you guys that because it's really funny. And then... Uh, after that, whatever you guys want, really. Yeah, it was it was so bad. All I wanted to do was make you guys laugh, and then the whole internet thing just blew the hell up. I was so angry. <laughs> I was so mad that day. I was like, bah! every time I get in the mood to stream, which is rare, of course the internet would like break on me. Like, of course. I do need to do some games with viewers. I just have to figure out how. I should probably ask John and Tom how they do it. Because my Discord isn't really set up right now to do that. 
but I should. And then we can get guests, like, people that are in the Discord to come into the voice chats, too. I really should. We should do some Jackbox as well. We should absolutely do that. Someone made an amino community about you? What's that? I'm, I'm not a hip to the kids person, so you have to explain these things to me. What's aminos? Is that like amiibos? Town of Salem is really good, actually. I'm terrible at it, but it's good. Summer of Dating. Oh! Do you guys still want Dandelion? Because we haven't finished that. There's a couple of routes we could still do. My, my favorite route, actually, we haven't even finished. So, there's, like, Dandelion. There's... Would you guys like more dating of the Korean guys? Korean Page will make a return. I forgot the other- I forgot the other jokes we had. Oh, Jisoo's mom! And Jisoo watching you from the ceiling. <laughs> Just every dating video game? We can do. Dandelion is a really froofy Korean dating simulator. It's something. Oh, What the Shit Saturdays. I know. I've been so bad about What the Shit Saturdays. I need to bring them back. I agree with you. I absolutely do. I just haven't... It's been so hard because I have I moved up to Canada and the move has been hard. Now that I don't have to, to settle anymore, um, I need to find more silly one-off games that would be appropriate for What the Shit Saturday. My problem is, is I'm finding games that are either not funny enough or too gross, where I'm like, ooh, that's just gonna have to be all censored, like the whole thing. And I'm like, eh, that might not be worth it. So I don't know. We do need more Sims 4. I need to build a new computer before we do that. Yeah, we never got the true ending of Dandelion. You get the true ending when you've dated all the guys. We need to do that. We should play Police Quest. Oh my god, there's a lot of funny Space Quests we could play as well. If you guys like that. Some of the narration and Space Quest ones are amazingly funny. Oh, I'm glad you like Shard Light Chilled. I'm so happy. Yeah, it would just be all of Tyler's face, so it would just be one giant Tyler face the entire time. Like, that's what we're talking Your about. Your little sister is insane for- yes. Thank you, TD. Hein, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Hein has emerged from the bit mines. There's lots of aliens down there. King's Quest 7? You guys want that again? Y'all need help. I can do it. We can speedrun King's Quest 7. Yo, my goal is to like be so speedrunny that AGDQ takes it next year. Wouldn't that be amazing if I could run King's Quest 7 as a speedrun? Do you think they'd let me? They let you do PC games too. It's not it's not just um It's not just console games. It's a hoon. Look at Nanosphere dropping all those cute little fluffy foxes in the in the dish. There they go. They're all there. Peridot's gonna look over them. Thank you so much, Nanosphere. Thank you to Spider Monkey. Thank you to everyone. Stardew Valley, that's what I forgot. We have to do more of that because the multiplayer is gonna be coming out in a little bit and I wanna be prepared. We should start another farm. And just do like chill, relaxing farming streams. Do you want me to play Sonic 06? Nope, that's not happening. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's absolutely not happening. Finish Pokemon Yellow. I know you're right, and you are right, and I'm terrible. I don't like it, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just scared of where it's going. Xemnas, thank you so much for touching my suspenders. You want some more nostalgia trip games? I got loads of those, I got loads. Bust a groove? We should do that too. Okay, so basically what you're saying is just carry on the way we've been carrying on. <laughs> so like, hangout streams, drawing streams. Oh, we have to do more of the what Pokemon is that stream where you guys give me the name and a description of a Pokemon I don't know and I just draw it and see if I get close. Ace Attorney will play after Bowser is over. That will be the next LP. 
I think you're going to be able to visit other farms in the multiplayer, Stardew. They haven't really said much about what you're actually going to be able to do. Oh, you want to see digital again? How many times have we played digital? Maybe we should do it again for summer. Like, every summer we play digital once. <laughs> I love digital so much. It's seriously one of my favorite games. I don't know why. It's just such a simple thing. Street cleaning simulator? I'll look at it. I'll go look at it on Steam. Two times only? That's not that many times. We could surely get one more out of it. Oh, Stormblood is coming soon for Final Fantasy. It's the huge new expansion. So once that happens, we are streaming. So I hope you guys get ready for that. Don't worry, it'll still be funny. We'll do stupid things like we always do. I know, I still gotta finish yellow. Help me. Help me like it. I'm so scared. I'm so over the Pokemon grind right now. I'm so- oh my god, the cup has exploded. Emil's face just went everywhere. Tarag, you didn't have to do that. My power was out, so I couldn't watch the stream, but now it's back, so have some money, girl. Thank you so much. Super Smash Bros? Terrible at it. Wind Waker? Bit too long, I think, for a stream at the moment? Maybe a bit. Pals of the Dead? We should do that. We've actually wanted to do the higher levels for a while. We got close one time we tried. I think we died at... Where did we die, Hein? Was it like 180-ish? I think we died around the 180 mark and we never went back in there. Secret of Mana. That could be good. Kingdom Hearts, I'm terrible at it. I love the story, but terrible at it. Running Dusk Vigil. Why do you need it? <laughs> you need Dusk Vigil? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I will help you through Dusk Vigil later. Monkey Island is good. Absolutely good. <gasps> oh! You know what's out now? The people that made Panzer Models made the Korean, the North Korean dating simulator. I need to download that, so we might be playing that too. Look at help me, I started playing Pokemon Snap. Oh, I'm sorry. I am very sorry for your loss. I will play another Sugiden game. I'm just trying to find the right time to play that. Summer will not be the right time to play that, unfortunately, because of ad revenue. If I, I have to do Alexander Savage if I stream? Really? I haven't even started it. Too scared. Maniac Mansion, that's a good idea. These are all very good ideas. We could do Day of the Tentacle too. Those are so good, those games. Thank you, I will try to do my best on Terraria. 180 is where we got to? That's what I thought. So we got to 180 on Palace of the Dead, and then we wiped to the boss. Yeah, we definitely have to try that again. We're much better geared now than we were when we tried it last. I don't know if that really matters in Palace of the Dead, but... It, we might be okay. No! No warring triad extreme! I'm not doing it! <laughs> I'm not doing it! I'm not doing Sephiroth EX! Get out of here with that. Typing of the Dead? We could totally do that. The horse dating sim? You mean the one on the mobile device? Because I can't stream mobile stuff, sadly. Well, I mean, I can. Oh, yeah. But it's yeah. difficult. Oh my god, hey, you got me. What are you doing with Jasper Pants? <laughs> Look at all the Smiths. Yes. Hey, you got me says. Gotta go soon, but I thought I'd drop by to say hello. Can't wait to meet you again in person in July. Me too, girl. You get to see this janky ass in person. Hell yes. <gasps> Laura Bow, William, that's a great idea. The first one is a little bit... I don't know if the first one is aged very well, but the Dagger of Amun-Ra is really still good. It's still okay. Especially the one with the, um, the voice acting. Maybe we should do that. The Dagger of Amun-Ra is hilarious. Ooh, that's a really good idea. I think we could get through the first Laura Bow, possibly. I don't even know if I remember how to get through it. <laughs> Chicken wings! Minecraft with Tyler is coming back when Tyler comes back, which is never. <laughs> I'm actually- I'm actually actively looking for another person to take over to teach me the Minecraft ropes. I was thinking about maybe doing it with Tom if he had time, because him and the Derp crew do the Minecraft stuff all the time. 
Laura Bow is like a mystery type of old like adventure game. Think like King's Quest, but instead it's like a old 50s Louisiana murder mystery kind of thing. It's really good. Really good. I have played Asagao Academy, but we could do other routes. I only did PBG's route. That's another thing we could do. We could do Summer of Dating again. We did that last year. I love Osu scene. The problem with Osu is, is all the music is copyrighted. So if we do it on stream, the VOD will have to be deleted. There'll be no way we could put it on YouTube or even keep it here. It'll be muted. But we could do it as a one-off. Oh, and you guys are free to ask like questions or anything for the next like 20 minutes before I go. So whatever you like. Asagao Academy is good. I think there's actually some really feelsy ones that we could get to in that game too. Summer of Dating, the Korean girls, the uh, North Korean girls, uh, Asagao Academy, so the Normal Boots guys. Who else are we gonna date? I'm sure there was someone else in there. I did do the T-Rex dating sim, yes. The Trilby series, we did them all, but I can try to find something like it. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head that might be like that is, um, what's the name of that game that's sorta like it? It's a mystery series and I don't remember the name. It's like an indie series. It's hand done. Crap, what is the name? Oh, Ben Jordan. But I don't know if you guys would like Ben Jordan or not. What's wrong with Bagel? He has to have surgery on his teeth and his jaw. Paka Pets. I've never tried it. I heard it was really slow to get started. Like an hour or more. Paka Plus. I think everyone picked PBG at first. Yeah, he's the most, like, non-threatening. <laughs> I have heard of Professor Layton, yes. Tips for starting senior year of high school and dealing with crushes? Ooh. I'm very far removed from that now, but have fun. High school is a time to, to figure out yourself, man, so do it. Just take every day as it comes. You got this, man. You can do it. Just be yourself. If you've got a crush on someone and you want to chat them up, just man, just be yourself. Neo, is it Neo? Oh, I thought it was a dialect. It's Neo Didact. Thank you so much for subbing. Is there a good guide for starting to stream for the first time? Ooh, I don't know. And I don't know if I'm the right person to ask because my streams are absolutely crap all the time. <laughs> I never stream like as well as I should. Panty party? What's that? Talk to me about that. You saw me on Terraria Hardcore? Yay! Thank you so much. Gerard threatening people with his beard. His beard is, is crazy savage. I heard Paul's really hard to get. Yeah. And I also heard that uh, Shane is really hard to get. I'm new here. Can anyone tell me what's going on? We're actually at the end of the stream now, Abbe. We're just doing like a Q&A and talking about stuff. So, welcome in. We're all friends here. Have a seat if you like. Dating tips. Stick your leggy out real far. It worked for me. Oh, don't worry, Lukagen fan. Just be just be kind and let and just be firm and kind. Firm and kind. You'll be okay. Dang and Rampa, I heard that it was good. I haven't played it yet. Maybe I should do a blind stream of it sometime. I know that Tim liked it a lot when he streamed it, but I didn't watch because I wanted to keep it blind for myself. Is action game fighting is a pair of underwear? What? I'll have to look that up. Oh, you like 100% OJ? Me too. We should play that as well. Shane made you rage quit, Asagao? That sounds about right for him. I'm never on time. Don't worry, you can watch the VOD back later if you like. It's no big deal. Have you ever read Bittersweet or Flying with a Broken Wing? No, but those sound familiar. Oh, they're long. The Danganronpa is long. Well... Tokyo Mirage Session is kind of like Persona, but with J-pop. Oh, really? Hmm. I know you want to watch me cook. The problem with cooking streams is, is I don't have a second camera and I don't have a laptop, so I can't- Unless I put a hot plate right here in front of you guys and possibly burn down my whole office. 
because there's no exhaust fan in here. We need to wait on that before, until I can get some equipment. I will try my best. Panty party is voice act. The, does the underwear talk? If that's the case, I probably have to get it. I have played Breath of the Wild. I finished it too. I'm about to be real unpopular. Okay, I loved Breath of the Wild and I thought it was great until I played Persona 5 and now Persona 5 is my game of the year. Hands down, so good. Can't stop thinking about it. Need to go do New Game Plus. It's, it's wrecking my life. It's ruining my life. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Your aunt wrote those two books? Oh, how nice. Well, I'll try to look those up if I can. My Drunk Kitchen? <laughs> Girl, that's me every day. That's me every day. I never saw it coming. Nope. Oh, man. P5. You guys get it, play it. it. It's my first Persona game I've ever played, so I'm not even giving it to you on like a, oh my god, I love Persona. It's the first one I've ever played, and oh. You can just dive right in, doesn't matter. None of them are, are connected. Oh my god, it moved me. It changed my life. It made my skin clear up, although my skin's not clear right now, so don't look at it, okay? <laughs> I can't wait to go back and date more people on the new game plus. Oh my Christ. So good. So good. My heart. What console is P5 for? It's for per it's for PlayStation 4. The underwear talks, please play it. I will look. I will look for it. I am I will go back and play the other games. I think three and four were were uh, requested as the best ones for me to try after five. I think I might have ruined myself because five is so, it's so modern and it's so well freaking done that I hope that the other ones have aged well or else I'm gonna be like, this is crap. I like the new one better. OP5 is on PS3 as well, I'm sorry. It is on PS3 as well. Will I play Super Mario RPG blind? Not for a bit. I have to be very careful with the Nintendo titles because they like copywriting everything. Doing two back to back is a good way to ensure that I can't pay my rent. <laughs> Persona 4 is corny. Sign me the hell up. I love corn. I am all about the corn, you guys. Like, seriously, give it to me. Am I going for Takemi? Nope. Going for Kawakami all day, all night. Need to have her. Absolutely need teacher. The three and four story holds up, but the graphics have aged a little bit. The graphics on Persona 5 are so great that, like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, every menu and every, like, transition is so well done. It's ridiculous how good. More reality show games? I keep trying to find some and they all suck. If you find any good ones let, with story, let me know. They're all just mini games. It's awful. I don't want to do just mini games. Okay, Willem, I'll look at that. Laura Best, I got you. We will do more Sims 4. All Kawakamis are good Kawakamis. <laughs> she reminded me of me. I Every time that lady talked, I was like, holy shit, someone was spying on me. Because seriously, this lady is me. <laughs> if P5 had an updated version where you could date the dudes, oh, that's tricky. Because I like all of them for different reasons tell you who I wouldn't go for, which is the most unpopular version, but no Mishima. I'd probably date Gun Dad. <laughs> Give me Gun Dad. Am I from YouTube? I guess. I mean, I'm on there, if that's what you mean. Yes. I'm also from Canada. A Metroid game. Um, I'm not too good at them. The only one I'm good at is Super Metroid. Life is, is here. 80th. It's, life is very expensive right now. That's what we were ranting about earlier. Poor Mishima. I can see why people do like Mishima, and I think he's sweet, but his... Ugh, not my style. Gimme Gun Dad. Gimme the Gun Dad. No, there's no same-sex roots in P5. You're only a boy protagonist, and Japan is still getting on board with the gay thing. Give them some time. 
I'm, I'm not surprised that it's not an option. And now if they had, like they did in the other Persona where they had a boy and a girl protagonist, then yeah, but they didn't do that with this one. Give them time, they're getting there. Japan's come a long way, believe it or not. Life is Strange? Do you guys want me to play Life is Strange? I've played it. It's really good. No, I don't have enough games like John does to do a fortune cookie and make it funny. Sadly. I have seen some of Hannah Hart's vids, yes. I like them. You guys want Life is Strange? We can do that. We can do a 100% run. I didn't get all of the fo- I think I missed one photo the last time I played it. So I could do that. I could raid John Stash, but I don't have the setup that he has. You should see the setup. He's got every single console hooked up to a splitter. I can't fit that in here. Mostly what I stream is things that can be streamed on the computer. I could hook up one console at a time, and that would take a while. I have not black fluff, but I could look at it. Uh, Life is Strange is strange, but it's also feelsy. It's really good. It's really pretty. Poker on a Mystery Dungeon, I have a couple of them, but people were saying that it, they're quite long and you're never sure what you're gonna get because it's random. So, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. What's John doing right now? No idea. Actually, I have to go check on them soon. There is a strong bad game. I think it's still available. I have not played The Walking Dead, nor have I seen it. Zombies aren't really my usual bag, so you'd have to convince me that Walking Dead is good. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Bye, Sandy. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna go soon. I do have the Telltale games, I just never played them. I've played Life is Strange. What are my opinions on the Paper Mario series after Super Paper Mario? Eh, I didn't really fall in love with any of them. So for me, Super, Super Paper Mario and Previous are the good ones. Oh, John's doing the podcast right now, of course. That might be why he couldn't get the cat earlier. NCS is on. I know what we're gonna do. Wait, we have to think of a, think of me a message, please. What shall we do? What is the message? Can we just spam Smephany? I mean, we could do an emote raid. Cream colon. Oh my god. We could do cream colon. He's, he won't even know what that means. One moment. Let me get his page up. <laughs> he, he won't have any idea what the hell that means. Oh, he's playing Virtue's Last Reward, is he? Oh. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. Do it. Oh god, what is this game? It looks intense. Chicken wings! Oh! Clever! Thank you, darling. Love you. Oh god, here we go with the cream colon. It's a raid, oh my god. Um, um, what? <laughs> Doesn't know what to do. Luka Jin. Only Luka Jin would say something that disgusting. What? 
I, how dare you, sir? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna save my girl and you're over here raiding my ass with cream colon. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the. You know, I almost don't want to know what the context is. <laughs> I guess he's had like a really important like part and we're just messing him up. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, people are dying. Uh, we know, but there's green coal. <laughs> um, with them, I, I can see what happens here. I'll give you the. I'll do the countermeasures, I promise, but holy shit. There's no way I need to know. Oh god, a girl's getting okay, killed. Alright. And. This is Oops. S Sigma. Oh, I need. Okay, guys, we're just watching this now, apparently. I had to, I didn't have a choice. We're just watching this now. The the I, people are, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Because I love you. I Nana, thank you so much. Holy crap. Why didn't you Nana says, I had a bizarre horse game that I sadly gave away a year before finding you. The characters was Uncanny Valley and could have fitted an LP with John. Aw, oh, that's okay. Do you remember what it was called? The biggest idiot on the planet. Rip Colin. <laughs> This is intense. Oh my god, a girl is dying. So go watch a girl die on on Tim Street. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the follows, all the subs, Piano Manatee, two and a half years. Holy crap. Thank you for all the subs. All my mods, thank you for being here and everyone that donated. You are so generous. Bagel and I thank you so, so much. I will keep you guys in full tabs about what's happening with him. I will let you know. May 30th is a surgery. I will let you know. If you just subbed today, you now have access to the Discord. So go to Discord. I think it's what? Discord.me or something like that. Whatever. Just type Discord in the Google thing. You'll find it. And you can join our server for free. And we'd love to have you. It's a whole bunch of friendly folks just hanging out. And you always hear about streams first, and I do polls in there and talk with people. So I hope to see you there. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Go watch Tim for a while. He's amazing and great. I love you. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Will Lucagen ever decide to wear pants? Tune in next time.